Hello, Preach friends. Thank you for joining our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. We have an important announcement about tonight's show. It is being recorded. We are not streaming live. Um, this is to help our players uh, enjoy their families on this Memorial Day weekend. Um, and next week, we will not have a show because I will be at the Stream of Many Eyes in L.A., and so they, they can't really do this without me. Um, <laughs> If you're new to the show, uh, please catch up on, by watching our previous sessions on either Twitch or YouTube. We've got all the sessions up. Uh, if you're looking to interact with the show, please contact us at one of the many social medias that we have. They are included in the body of the show and also uh, the body post of the YouTube page. Um, we also have uh, a Twitter account, MBM RPG, and all of our contact information is on the pinned tweet. Additionally, we have some uh, thank yous to give out for people and groups that have been uh, helping us along the way. Uh, thanks to Axe and Shield for your fantastic combat risers. Thanks to Dwarven Forge for your amazing dungeon terrain. And thanks to Sirenscape for your awesome soundscapes. And with that, let's meet the players and their characters. Mike? Who are you playing tonight? I am still playing Cirk, the half orc barbarian, uh, current champion of Ruined Eyes. <laughs> yeah. Until no somebody beats me. Until <laughs> <laughs> somebody beats me or I die. Eric? Uh, I'm playing uh, Elray Foxfire Doran. He's an uh, elf rogue um, that has sneakily joined this group on, uh, on their adventure. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he just snuck around. And yeah, he just got in Aaron, there. Who you tonight? Uh, I am playing Visago Free, the trustworthy tiefling bard who yeah. also has a, a, uh, an allergic reaction to the air in the month. So if you got any emotional scenes, now is the time. Oh yeah, because <laughs> I'll be crying anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Doug, playing Xenos High Hill, a halfling wizard and captain of the ship. Acting captain of the ship. Captain of the ship. <laughs> acting. That's good. You don't, you don't have to say active and? if they don't make you. That's right. Yeah. And who? Who? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> I'm Howard. Yay! <laughs> and I'm playing Sarsarel the Submerged, the chosen champion of Umberly, half elven cleric. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And not just because she saved me. Not just. Not well, I just mean, because. Clearly, because then you would have a different champion. <laughs> So, uh, church, <laughs> raised in your temple. Church, <laughs> church, church of the free, right there. So, uh, short uh, recap before we get into this. Um, so, last week, the party tracked their way through the jungle, uh, meeting up with uh, fey creatures called the Wilden um, in a, what appeared to be an old growth evergreen forest that they knew <laughs> only was around for, I believe I said five months? Yeah, it wasn't that long. Yeah, yeah. Not, not that long. Uh, that definitely weird that an old growth forest has propped up in this jungle. Um, during their travels, they came across a group of battle battle-born dwarves clearing mushrooms from metal grates in the jungle floor. Um, and uh, we <laughs> harvested some of the mushrooms. Zago definitely took some some mushrooms <laughs> and then took some mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> um, he also it's encountered several class. groups of uh, robotic dinosaur-like creatures, um, a sealed metal door, and a ruby red beam which incinerated uh, the bodies of one of the robotic creatures they were carrying. Um, and lastly, they found the, uh, the body of the last of Firefox's, or Foxfire's um, wayward adventuring party just outside of a cave uh, that was home to a gigantic robot, robot monstrosity known as Thunderjaw. Uh, they slew the beast. They um, Sarsarel took uh, a step towards claiming his mantle as chosen of Umberly, and they were about to explore the um, the cavern beyond. But before that, we're going to take a step back because I misread a situation um, with the the Wilden. Um, I took uh, Doug's playing of Xenos wanting to get off the island as soon as possible as him not wanting to interact with the Wilden, which apparently was not true. And so we're going to go back to the Wilden. Um, and so the, the scene was you were talking to um, several Wilden um, in their forest, mm -hmm. just on the outer edges of their forest. 
um, they mentioned that the way to immediately help them, and I'm adding the word immediately, um, would be for you to have a druid help them with the ritual. Right, which we had. Yeah, we had. Which you had. Yeah. Right. Well, um, we said there was nothing else we could do. And yeah. so they were going to take <laughs> take him mm -hmm. um, to help with the ritual. Yep. Until uh, Cirk let them know that um, he was not indeed trustworthy or a druid. Um, that doesn't fit the character description at all. <laughs> <laughs> and so instead of uh, taking him uh, to help with the ritual, they took him to um, be dosed with peyote. Yeah. Um, so um, that's which, why lying always works. So we'll <laughs> pick pick up there. Um, <laughs> so the the wild end that was speaking with you. Uh, exactly. Her name is <laughs> that was <a> Salixa. <laughs> okay. And um, and what do you say at this point? Uh, my my question remains the same. Is there anything that we can do to help you expand and uh, defeat uh, Rune Dice or destroy Rune Dice, or help us get, help you help us get off this stupid island? I mean, lovely island, lovely who's, spot. Who's Rune Dice? What? Giant floaty eye guy that zappy and murder people. Likes to oh. wink at you. All right, I thought it was Rune Dice. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is ruined eyes. Okay. Um, okay, so Salixa says that she would be happy to take you to uh, the chieftain okay. to discuss things further okay. if you wish to join yeah. their Let's go talk to the chieftain. Group. Um, so as they're escorting you guys, I mean, uh, Bazago has already been this way. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't remember it being like this, though. So, as, colorful. as she's colorful. escorting you through the forest, um, you magical. notice that all of the <clears throat> forest around you seems to be oddly colored. Um, it is more vibrant, but also some kind. Of, it has a kind of glossy sheen over it as you're traveling through, basically the Feywild. Okay. Um, and as long. Uh, Salixa says, as long as you stay with our group, um, there should be no issues with other creatures here. Okay, well, um, stay with the group. And then the first night, you guys camp. So right. what are you guys doing as far as, as camping goes? Who's prepping food? Who? Well, well, we took a long rest with... before, so yeah. I guess the same yeah. as we did before. Okay. Um, so the next day, um, they... They continue walking through this massive forest to a, a clearing. Okay. Um, it's probably about um, 500 feet <clears throat> across. Okay. Um, and there is a singular um, willow tree that's in the middle of the clearing okay. that they approach. Um, that You see other creatures of their type that have kind of congregated around this tree. Um, and appear to be conducting a some sort of ritual. Okay. Um, and Salixa says, wait right here. I'll go speak with the chieftain and see okay. if she's willing to talk with you. Okay. Um, she walks off and starts talking to one of the wildin. Mm -hmm. Stay close enough to not get lost. Okay. And I'm going to, since I'm still not kind of trusting of this group or of these uh, wildins, I'm going to kind of try to just step back a little bit and sort of uh, disappear and kind of scout okay. around where oh, we are. No, we just lost We just lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so All right, trustworthy. so um, make a stealth check and then also make a survival check. And oh. If you're not trained in survival. That's a really bad stealth check. Okay, you think you're hidden. This, this may change that whole fight we had <laughs> yeah. with the dinosaurs. That was yeah. a... Uh, I'm watching as you step back. <laughs> that hey. was a nine with a natural one. Okay. Um, but then the survival, I'm untrained. That's a 14. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you're able to, when you step back into uh, the forest line, you're able to keep line of sight on everybody so that you're not just wandering off. Um, the Feywild is, so for those uninitiated, the Feywild is basically just wilderness, and it is a layer of reality on top of ours. Um, so it mirrors ours with um, slight adjustments. Um, 
It is the opposite of the Shadowfell, which is uh, the darkness, dark version of this. We don't want to go there. No. No. Stranger things happen there. That's right. Aww. That's the. That is definitely the upside down. That is one version <laughs> of it. Um, so as your rogue sneaks off, um, and Mike reads the grappler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. What, what was your stealth? Fourteen. No, that was no, just oh, nine. 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 Yeah. Oh, I had a nine on my perception, though. Let's see where he went. I'm going to say Ty goes to the hider. On okay. This one. I have my passive, passive perception is 13. Okay, you definitely. So, so you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do, you, do you know where he went? Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he's right there. You definitely you just see get him back over here. He's going to get Simpson lost. his way into the hedge. <laughs> he, literally, he literally went, I'm just going to sneak on out of here. <laughs> tell, tell him to stick with us, otherwise, he's going to get lost and then, you know. Uh, okay, well, I mean, as the trustworthy druid, I'll, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, please do. Uh, hey, please stick with us or else you'll get lost in the wilderness. I know this. The trees talk to me. See? He's a, he's a druid. Last time yeah. I was here, they talked to me. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, they're still kind of talking to me. I don't know. It's a little... Uh, the wear off is different. Well, they've got an avatar thing going on. Yeah. Like... Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very much. Very much that. So, um, so Salixa returns with... Um, a matronly Wilden. Um, she has uh, long gray hair that's swept back from um, swept back into a loose braid that runs to the smaller back. Um, and Salixa says, "This is Umate. She is uh, our leader." And uh, Umate says, uh, "Salixa tells me you wish to help our clan. What would you propose to help us with?" Well. Um it seems to me that this island is currently controlled by some abomination. And um, you guys, if you were in control of this island, it would be more natural and fit better in this world. Um, so I, if there's anything we can do to assist you in removing the abomination from this world... You know, I can and help. removing his treasures from his And home. we'll be more... Hey, 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 hey. There's what? no harm in us helping by <laughs> hauling away the unwanted material yeah. from this island once the um, abomination it's has been removed. Yeah. Mazaga goes up, that's what we in the fisherman business call technicality. <laughs> 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 I so mean, we have, we have a boat with space to haul. I mean, it's clearly junk. Yeah, that's and right. they're, they're not going to want that there. What? They got all this forest to grow, so we'll just move they, it over there. those items would be of no benefit to these Wildlands, yeah. whereas it would be beneficial to, I don't know, perhaps your church or yeah. the ship or the crew. Or the orphans we no, have. Or the orphans. the orphans. The orphans. Yeah. Okay. The orphans. Just wanted to make sure we Did were all we helped Is this a, like a quick fund that you guys oh. are having? <laughs> 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 That's how I picture it. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're just doing this through message. Yeah. <laughs> we're just all cast yeah, message. Just, we all can do it. It's fine. You can reply to this <laughs> message. <laughs> Instant messaging. Yeah. So when you guys are staring off into space, she's like... <laughs> yeah, no, well, yeah. This yeah. happens all the what? time. <laughs> so that's, that's what we'd like to do, is work together to remove this abomination if we can. Um, she says that she would ha be happy to assist you with removing the abomination. Um, she, she does not wish to have her clan here. They would prefer to return home. Oh. Okay. Um, but at this point, she has not seen Rundai's, um, so she doesn't know anything about him. Um, I'd be happy to describe him to you. You can do that. Um, and Arrogant blob of eyeballs that wants to disintegrate me. It's true. <laughs> really charming, likes to wink at you. Yeah. Like half of his eyes wink at you. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of yeah, creepy. Like, yeah. Um, so, but at this point, there she says that they're no in, they're in no danger from his robotic creatures. He did send us Thunderjaw. to try to. He, he did try to hire us to destroy you all. Not not that we took that particular job, but um, he may try to send others. Just letting you know. She says that she'll be wary of that, um, okay. and she believes that that their um, their continued ritual will expand their forest, and um, they can continue to destroy any of the creatures that come into their um, into their forest unrequested. Okay. Um, if you guys could uh, clear their home. I mean clear their home. 
uh, the, where they are, where they came from. Oh, we can go into the Feywild from here. No, 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 no. The where the the mechanical creatures come from, I'm guessing, is what she means. So what she clarifies is like um, she thing? came from a, a forest called the Archwood. Oh, okay. Okay. And the Archwood um, was attacked by a black dragon. Okay. Yeah. And the say. black dragon was continuing to pursue a tribe of furbolgs mm. across um, an area of land. In the Feywild. In, uh, and they had to flee the, into the Feywild to continue mm. uh, <coughs> to survive. Okay. Um, mm. So they don't know what shape the Archwood is in, um, but they, they can't return until they know that it's safe from this black dragon. And how do we get there? Um, well, why don't we have Xenos make a history check? Well, oh, I mean, if you really want me to. I kind of do. Okay. Well, oh, I, it's an untrained um, natural 23. Okay, natural 23. Xenos is the least learned wizard I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I tell you how I became a wizard? I yeah, found I, a book. I started I reading it. I know. <laughs> um, so... That's how I became I was, a druid. I was going go to I was gonna <laughs> go to road <laughs> school. I mean, Bad things happen <laughs> from reading books. It's true. So... <laughs> If we've learned anything, lie, do drugs, don't read books. So what Xenos right? knows That's the message is, we're trying to get across. Is um, no, the Archwood no. is okay, well, in a land called uh, Symbia, which is a neat, uh, Simba. No, Symbia. Oh, Simba. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get us sued. Um, Symbia. Uh, it is a nation on the coastline of the Inner Sea, which is where you guys, your guys are in the inner sea. Okay. Um, Xenos knows that because he has a criminal contact in Symbia that works as a fence. And he's a ship captain, and all ship captains know that. Right. Um, and um, as um, Umate continues to explain, um, she believes that the dragon came from a place called the Vast Swamp um, and chased these fur bogs into um, the Archwood, and have finished killing the, the rest of them. Um, and she says, if you guys could deal with the, the dragon, or at least make it so that it doesn't come back into the Archwood, that would, that would be ideal. Um, and then when you return here, we would happily ally with you against whatever creature claims this land is its own. Okay, so we go check out, make sure that the uh, dragon isn't in the Archwood anymore, come back, and then you join forces with us to destroy the Abomination. She says, I did say take care of the dragon, so if you kill it, that's great. So we, well, we, we, wait, wait, wait. we need to go get so we go, sail. So we go, well, I do need the, I do need the black sail, because that would be awesome. Um, all right, all right. So if the black dragon happens to be hanging out <coughs> in the Archwood, we kill it, mm -hmm. make cool new sails, sure. mm -hmm. come back, Show off our fancy new sh sales to you, and then uh -huh. we go kill the abomination. Is that the plan? Sure. Okay. Sounds Let's like a great it. plan. Let's do that. Okay. But solid we plan. have to go up a level to get down a level. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid plan. We may want to tweak it later. But it was nice meeting you. Um, mm -hmm. If you could escort us out of here to towards the um, big robotic dragon that we killed in the future, that would be great. <laughs> she says, we can escort you to ooh, where you came ooh, in. Before we do the weird timey-wimey thing again, I bet you five gold I'm going to kill this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I'm just going to add five gold to my character. Sheet real quick. All right. You have to mark oh, five gold. Uh, okay. So they escort you back. Okay. Um, and you guys go to uh, Thunder Jaws' mm -hmm. lair. Mm -hmm. And yep. you manage to defeat him. Five gold for a dragon. Just, a pretty good just barely yeah. managed to <laughs> defeat him. Like, it was a tough fight. I don't, I don't recall being hurt, that. but okay. I was down 20 hit points. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to have to do that. Uh, I'm going to have to do tougher fights in the future. Okay. Good Good to know. Um, as long as there's no more area of effect spells where I completely die in the first round, I'm fine. Yeah. I was just saying, <laughs> there's a couple of us that weren't. I mean, that was a third of my hit points, but he went down real quick. Yeah. yeah. I, I was down a significant chunk. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh. So. Tougher fight. <laughs> you guys, what is this damage you guys do? <laughs> really it's sure. never hurt. Uh, uh, hurt. So, oh, so many punches me repeatedly. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. Sorry, I just knocked someone We have to use our hands. I thought I used the mushrooms again. I just went. So now we can drag this metal carcass back to Rune Dice. He gives us a bunch of cash. And then we find out how honorable he is and whether or not he lets us leave this place. So you are going to have a difficult time dragging Thunderjaw through the. Well, tunnel. I'm not gonna have a difficult time at all. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a team. He's of, gonna have a difficult. I'm gonna time. get a team of chickens. <laughs> slash them together and, and train mush. Some robot chickens. Okay. That Is that animal, animal handling? Would, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's robot animal handling. So. No, it's technology. First off, oh. do you guys want to explore the cave? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's what I wanted to for the well, treasure chest. If they've sorry. been, yeah, luring people here to die. Well, that's, well, that's where we found. Corpses. Mm -hmm. uh, I, mean, yeah. I cast dancing lights through the yeah. into the cave so we can see okay. what's what's right. in there. Um, because there is that's one person. A wizard. Yeah. I got to cast spells. Vision. Yeah, me. Me. Oh, two of us oh. now. Oh, now you're now you're see? banding Wait. together. Aren't, aren't you an elf or a yeah. half elf? Elf. Yeah, night vision. Dark vision. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. He's oh. still oh. the only one that does. No, you're oh, still yeah. the only one who does. Okay, so I did it for me. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and because it looks cool. Oh, clearly. Like, so there yeah. are nice. bodies in here who have been dragged in here that are in various states of decay. Um, Thunderjaw doesn't, didn't need to eat, so right. it didn't it eat killed. them. Just it just killed, killed them and brought them, brought them in because that's what he's supposed to do. Yeah. <coughs> Instinctual and yeah. And so. programming. Yeah. So, um, somebody needs to make an investigation check. Oh, right. right here. Investigation? I'll totally make oh, wait, one. No. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay. this is, yep, I'm we'll so go with that. I'm so glad we're <laughs> using these rolls now. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Um, okay. That's so a you 21 total. 21. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 15 and I got a 16, so hit. <laughs> well, I actually oh, we're a, a smart bunch. Oh, All right. Yeah. I got a 12 with my plus 3 investigation. Okay. <laughs> So, Howard, what Sarsarello sees is there, most of the bodies here, their mundane equipment has started to decay okay. along with the bodies. Um, but there are a few pieces of um, loot here that appear to um, have endured. Have endured, yes. Nice. Um, That's a 25 sleight of hand to steal anything of value before anyone else sees it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, now this piece is my passive. Uh, okay, Wait so. Wait a second. <laughs> Let's yeah. see here. Um, that means everyone's passive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. twice. Sure. That's the important part. <laughs> yeah. So you find you find um, a a leather thong that. Um, <laughs> It's a, oh, it's no, that's mine. Don't <laughs> oh, <laughs> not. not like, this game just took a weird turn. <laughs> it's a coin purse. Okay. All right. Oh, that's that what has, I like to call it. That has 50 gold pieces in it. That's what you pocket. I hope you without, don't pocket that. Without somebody watching. Nobody <laughs> wants to see uh, it. Okay. Um, there are four pieces of uh, equipment in here that appear to be magical. All right, so um, What's, what, what are they? So there is a set of um, what appear to be similar to brass knuckles. Ooh. Uh, they are um, made uh, from cobalt blue rings with silver with a silver knuckle guard in the shape of a cloud bank. There is a rod. It's a two foot uh, long seafoam green rod capped with ornately carved silver depicting crashing waves cresting Ooh. around a fist-sized Definitely pearl. curious about that. There are a pair of boots, um, green uh, green leather boots finely stitched with patterns of uh, leaves in gold thread, Ooh. and a set of uh, dice, two d6s. Ooh, well then. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, 15 arcana to figure out what the brass knuckles are. Okay. Um, yeah, Sir puts them on. <laughs> Patience. Some of these things could be cursed. It could try to it's eat too you. Late. It's too late. It's too so late. So you are looking at other things. These Sir are mm -hmm. these are weapons. They're magical weapons. Uh, that you, you can't tell much more than okay. than that. But you know that they're magical. Um, and over the course, so over the course of the time, if you're spending time identifying these, mm -hmm. Sir slipping these on would eventually know what they do. Okay. 
Nice. Um, so I have 13 to identify the rod. Okay. Arcana. Um, Although he's going to pick it up and start waving it around. Like, so that, <laughs> that may... It, you, know that, um, you know that rods are magical implements that are typically useful for arcane casters. Okay. That one might be more useful for it's the captain. Got, no, it's got the, the it, waves it, crashing. It, let me see it for just a second. Yeah. Thunder knuckles. Let's see here. This is a rod of the practiced hand. Um, two foot long. When you hold this rod, plus two bonus to, speak, to spell attack rolls and saving throw DCs of your wizard spells. Oh, just wizard, wizard spells. spells. Oh, right. right there. Right. 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 I mean, if it was just spells. And I can regain one spell <laughs> slot as an actual holding rod. Ooh, that's oh. cool. Yeah. Well, that is useful. That's all okay. actually spelled out in the waves. We're just yeah. like looking at yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And in then order um, spells use. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So the next one is a 16 on the pair of boots. Okay. Um, 16 actually identifies these because they are, um, they're, while magic is fairly uncommon, these are a fairly common boot. Uh, so they're boots of elven kind. Oh, of course. And while you wear these so. boots, you make no sound regardless of the surface that you're moving on, and you have advantage on dexterity stealth checks to move sound. Oh, he that needs seems those. like something that I could use. <laughs> well, you already have disadvantage, so that cancels it out. I don't have uh, disadvantage, because oh, I have a mithril. All right, and then the last one, I got a 19 to identify the set of dice. A set of dice. Um, so these are indistinguishable from mundane dice, but blessed with good fortune. After you make an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw, but before the DM declares whether or not it was success or failure, you can expend one charge to re-roll the d20. So you basically get advantage on um, the loaded dice. Have up to six charges and gain, regain one d six charges at each week. So you only oh, have. Oh. You need all the help you can get. I Additionally, mean, if used <laughs> to only play, got four re rolls. Yeah. <laughs> Additionally, <laughs> if used to uh, to play games, uh, uh, dice games, the owner has advantage on ability checks to determine whether uh, to determine the winner of the game. See, that's, See, that's the, the part right there feature. that you would, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah listen, the D roll D20 is nice and all, but let's talk about money. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the, I was about to say, if the priest takes the cheating dice, I'm going to be so very happy. Have... I'm happy. All right, so what was the... I'm a um, of Umberley, not a you can have two things like attuned at a time, is that right? You can have three. Three things Taylor. attuned at a time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So I have to some, lore. some magical items the, do not require the a control tumor. rod does not require no, a but I my captain's coat does. Oh, so that's yeah. why. Yeah. Or at least that was the that was what I was told. If it, it says attunement on it, it does. <coughs> I wrote it in in pencil. Fancy so I thought new that's boots. What you told me. Uh, probably so. But yeah. Um. So there you go. And then I'm keeping the control rod just so it stays out of trouble. Stays out of Cirque's <laughs> hands. Yeah. So we don't get more. You know, Lightning bolts, yeah, that what? are super helpful. Or rooms full of butterflies. So, Mike, you had the um, you had the map. That was pretty yes. cool. I saw you messing with it. So, you guys um, are nope, up one. Oh, we're up one. Right. Now. Up there. Next over. One more. Left. Left. There. You guys are there. Oh, because that's where Thunderjaw is. Yeah, that's where Thunderjaw is. Um, or was. And he still is. So you can. Um, Thanks to them. You can yeah. take. A trophy from Thunderjaw to bring back with you. Yeah. Uh, but this is like a 5,000 pound creature. Figure. You're right, we're going to need at more. least if, four chickens. If we bring him all the way back, <laughs> Rune Dice is probably just going to rebuild him. Yeah. yeah. Let's so, bury different parts of him in different areas of the island so that it would take an epic quest to reassemble the parts. <laughs> or, or why don't we just take whatever the most important part is? And with us. we'll just take that with us and throw it in the <laughs> bottom of the ocean somewhere. I'm not going to throw the this head. in the bottom of the ocean. What? His this spine. trident. That no, 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 no. No, that's your. No, that's you yours. Keep that. You keep that. I'm yeah. talking about maybe his brain or something. I'm thinking that maybe the power that courses through this was the power that powered him. It is is basically his spinal column. Hmm. All right. But we could also take something. Well, you know, we could sell the spinal <laughs> comb for three thousand gold and take no. something else. We oh, can't you can probably sell it for three thousand gold. Yeah. I'm not going to do think that. someone would definitely <laughs> buy it for three thousand gold. <laughs> I think that I was would. the deal. It was <laughs> if we bring back yes. uh, the corpse, we get three thousand gold. No. Um, it was a trophy. You don't have to bring that back the whole thing. 
I can only drag six. Oh, it's 5,000 gold. That's what it was. 5,000 gold. It was 3,000. 3,000. It was like four times that. It was 3,000 to kill the wildlings in the. Right. Which we didn't quite do. Or did we? So we half of them. We didn't. We don't really have a <laughs> trophy no for that. Way. There's so, no way they'll be. Oh, so let's just <laughs> take his head. No. I have a plus four strength. You have a plus That's five. Five. Okay. It's thirty times your actual strength score. So. Oh, okay. What are What are the odds that if we took a long rest here, we'd wake up in the morning and I might know a new spell or two? Well, you, are you are you odds? asking about whether or not you level? Yeah. Uh, I would say the odds the are pretty low, considering okay. the fact that I said that you last session that yeah. you did not. Like I, I'm just because if, if I would <laughs> wake up in the morning and magically know the levitate the spell, wildlands. then oh, <laughs> yeah. the XP that oh, we oh I'm sorry, you guys had a conversation <laughs> with the wildlands, so yeah. you absolutely. Did you add know. the extra like thousand or so? <laughs> yeah, come on. All right, so no, you guys are right. level four. Then you guys are dragging the thing. The head. The head. Okay. We'll just okay. drag the head. Okay. All right. You guys want to make a survival check to fashion something that you can drag through the forest? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Slug. I'll make a survival check. Ooh, untrained 19. No. Nope. You Five. can make that with Eight. advantage because I'm going to help you out. <laughs> Shell says you're not on Twitch. 11. Um, <laughs> solid. Better than the 9. It's true. So you guys can, uh, with your combined effort, you guys can fashion together like uh, combined effort. some branches and some... Uh, Foliage to make a sort of um, pulling device, a sled, if you will. Good thing mm -hmm. you got a wood elf. I can weave all the stuff. Ah, there you go. See, yeah, you're pretty useful. You know, I've got a couple you're openings in the uh, <laughs> on the ship. If you need a, need a job, need a new first mate, for instance. No, no, no. We got, <laughs> we got a first mate. Don't yeah. like him, but we got one. No, no. Uh, we all we right. had a couple guys eaten by sirens or just, sharks or something. So anyway, mate. I know. And, well, I've got. And, and he's got a first mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Who's, who's his first mate? The dwarf, right? Yeah. Grim Bernadette. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, if you need Anything. a job. Well, now that, first now that I know that all three of my teammates are dead, dead. No, yeah. I've got no use for this island, so. Okay. I would. You want a job on the ship? Tentatively accept. Those Good. I know you're a wood elf. Ship's made out of wood. <laughs> See, there you go. It's not made of an elf. It was not weaved it's together. Not a, well, it's not half wood woven elf from elf. Well, listen, don't speak entirely. I'm sure we've had to do a few patch repairs before. Oh, I'm sure there's blood in the deck. <laughs> you know, sometimes all you have around is some elf, right? I mean, we've all Interesting been there. Interesting red stain. <laughs> Mike, how many hexes are between you and the castle? Hexes. One, two, three, four. There's four empty, okay. and it'll be the fifth. So I you get guys advantage on saving throws against <sighs> How close are we to the shore? What about slumber? Uh, I'm immune. <laughs> well, we can drag the body two squares and throw it into the <laughs> giant beam of light. <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, yeah, message only goes 120 feet. That's not going to work. No. Um, um, so we could it'd take a couple days, but we can start dragging parts of it over to the, the engine and throwing them into the engine. We could do that. Could do that. Because that's real close. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we could do that. Sure. I mean, that seems like a good And that's going to be... Or we can see what we can sell to the dwarves. That's true. Before we talk to them. Well, we can go to the dwarves who are right there yeah. and say, hey. What do you want? There's a bunch thing? of this scrap yeah. that you could turn into, I don't know, parts for carts. That's true. And see if we can... Sell okay. the dinosaur. I, I do like the idea of <clears throat> just throwing it into the, the beam of light and incinerating it. Then we could do that with the head. That no, what I'm saying is we keep the head to turn in for our reward. Oh, we let the yeah. we let the dwarves grab their scap and whatever they have left, then we throw that into the light. Let's yeah. have our cake yeah, have the, and eat have it. Have the too. dwarves help us drag it over there. Yeah. And they can if the dwarves want the, the metal shell and we take the yeah. whatever robotic in it sides and yeah. incinerate that. Yeah, okay. Like yeah. Let's go. Plan. Let's go see if we can talk the dwarves into yeah. doing this. All right. So all of this, all of the traveling around and getting back to Rune Dyes is going to be uh, a skill challenge. Um, okay. And how's that some party game? <laughs> they were sad that it wasn't streaming. Okay. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. Um, so you guys will kind of make your way through some jungles. This is gonna. Um, involves some impro improvisation on your part. Um, traveling around is um, is going to the amount of time that you take is going to impact your ability to um, negotiate uh, 
um, with the beholder. Um, but you guys can pretty much use any skill that you can justify to journey back and forth around. So we're going to start with uh, Mike. We'll go around the table. It is six successes before three failures. You can travel slow, uh, medium, or fast. That affects the DC of the check that you're going to be making. Um, and keep in mind that there will be a bonus if you return to um, Rundines. Well, I want to do athletics. Okay. Because I figured that would be the best thing since I'm dragging a giant metal head. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'm going to go fast. You want to go fast? Okay. <laughs> so fast. describe uh, how <coughs> you're using athletics to quickly move through the forest. The I just start running as I'm pulling Okay. The, the so along. you just leave a path of destruction yeah. behind you as you're just pulling this <laughs> And it is like 600 pounds. The head yeah. itself is like 600 pounds. Okay, so I'll make your roll. That's that's within my limit. Yeah. Uh, 22. Okay, so you um, you travel very quickly through the jungle. Um, it's kind of amazing at how easy it is for you, <laughs> considering the fact that you're carrying this 600-pound anchor uh, behind you. Um, it is not difficult to track you. <laughs> um, but you are able to make your way. I'm building roads. <laughs> um, Eric, what are you going to do? <sighs> Hopefully you're tracking him. <laughs> if you well, it's not going to be that hard track. to track him. <laughs> he just puts his foot um, on, hand on the ground. He's like, they went this way. <laughs> Follow that gulch. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a train's moving through here. What's going on? Well, I guess I would be... Uh, he's moving, <laughs> you're moving fast? Mm -hmm. He's moving fast. Oof. You guys don't, uh, this is not all at the same time. Yeah. This is over the course of all of your travels through the jungle. Yeah. Well, then I'm going to I'm going to move at medium, but stealthily, obviously, stealthily. back and forth across the uh, okay. the path where we're headed. Okay. Um, and that would be a 22. 22. Okay, so describe. You get an advantage on that, don't you? Stealth? Yeah, because you got boots. boots. Oh, yeah. yeah. You get sneak boots. Got boots. Roll again. Roll it again. Okay. Roll again. Yeah, no, we'll go with 22. <laughs> um, so just basically creeping from tree cover to tree cover, uh, back and forth across the path, checking for anything that might slow us down or robot want chickens. to, uh, yeah, more okay. robot chickens or All anything. Right. You definitely, so you definitely, along your um, travels, you definitely spot some robot chickens and you're able to kind of negotiate around. Um, just to give you an idea, if we get through this and you guys have no failures, you get you get to your location with, without a problem. If you have one failure, um, you get an encounter. The more failures you get to three, the harder the encounter is going to get. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. No, and, no pressure. And so far, no failures. Okay. Um, so you get it's, to the dwarves. It's up to us to fail. Yeah. You get to the dwarves. Just three of us? And yeah, I think we can do it. They, yeah, I think so too. they continue to... <laughs> <Damn. dance. laughs> you, you do need six successes before three failures, so we're going to get back to Mike before the end of this. Um, you can maybe. fail too. We can always bet on fail. Oh, that's true. Yeah. If you guys go straight... I think straight, we can do this. Yeah, I think we can. We can, we can do it. Tank this down. <laughs> so, you have how many rerolls? I hope to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have four rerolls, but I feel like this five is a, a strong roll. Yeah. Yeah, six a week. It started yeah. with six. Six, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I'm and he, very the lucky. God of luck. Yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's the goal. That's the ultimate goal. <laughs> He cannot die. I just I make my own when luck. I was, when I saw those, I was like, oh, this is really cool for Aaron's. I forgot he'd already taken Lucky. Yeah. So. <laughs> so he is doubly lucky. I'm super lucky. He's like three times lucky, <laughs> like, the lucky feet. Like, Visago was like super Irish. Like, he didn't know <laughs> actually, about it, but he's actually... If he was he a, so lucky, there's a children's cereal named after you. Know? Yeah. <laughs> but they always oh. take it. <laughs> like, I'm trying to enjoy my own cereal, and they won't let me. <laughs> so you get to the dwarves. Okay. Constantly. The battle, they're called the Battleborn. All right. Yeah. The Battleborn. So mm -hmm. we talk to Yeah. So I'll offer them uh, parts of a robot dragon. They're a dinosaur. What? Thanks. No, we can't give them the head. No. Not the head. The, the other, other head. The other parts. They're interested. Um, um, I can tell you exactly where it came from. Follow that road. <laughs> <laughs> they're interested, but they don't have... <coughs> They're, they're, 
they're slaves. About, yeah, they're basically slaves to Rune Knight. We should leave it all. <laughs> Can you tell us how to open the doors? Yeah. Well, that'd be a pretty. That be seems like a good trade. <laughs> okay. And uh, oh wait, wait a minute. What are your th feelings towards Rune Knight? Sorry, out of curiosity. Um, Since we don't well, we have don't, the little camera floating around, we don't. Right now. They don't really like their life, is what they tell you. They're not really being forced into um, being mechanics and um, and laborers is not really what they're looking for out of life. If you had a chance to change your life, would you be willing to, to change our stars? Yeah, change your stars. Would you? Would you? What if help? we could rewrite the stars? <laughs> Wait. If you, you say, could change your feet. Oh, my God. That was yeah. Yeah. Since he picked up the loaded dice. Yeah. yeah. He's going to turn into a bear. Uh, he, <laughs> oh, who's going to turn into a bear? Um, he said, uh, they, uh, they say, yeah, they'd be willing to um, assist you in some kind of uh, rebellion. Excellent. Well, give him the map. That road right there that we made. <laughs> yeah, we gotta work on this negotiate and get the deal before you give them. The, yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure they're gonna know where. Yeah, we it's came a long, from. slow curve. From <laughs> 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 um, Thunderjaws right. Cave. All right. Did you want me to pick up any more um, mushrooms we, over here? I oh, 100 percent. Yeah. We, we no, might, we're, we're might have a market for those. And yeah. The Hold on. So I tell them about the wildin and say, um, don't get too close to the forest. They already know that. Okay. No. They they've lost some uh, dwarves to the wildin, so oh, they no. tend to stay. If wide. you do get really close for some reason, just say Cirque sent you, and you should be fine. Okay, but elves and dwarves have always been friends. I they know. have. <laughs> they've all, there's never been a war between them, ever. Never ever. ever. Never and ever. They ever. super get along. Okay. Okay. So, um, they they say, do you want to? Know how to get into the yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah um they they walk with you to okay. um because that you're heading along the route where yeah. there was a door and so when they get close to the door it opens up and they say you just got to be mechanical huh yeah well, that's all it takes so what's beyond the door <clears throat> uh, this is a factory that spits out dinosaur type creature told you told you there was a robot factory i knew it i knew there was okay you were right so if I just take a chunk of, let's say, the, this dinosaur and uh -huh. just put it near the door, it'll open? Or do you uh, have to be alive? It has to be alive. What if we oh, stuff so if I just, my trident into the head? So if I just grab a chicken? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, if, you get it, a chicken. if you get it here living, it, it will open right up. I can do that. That seems like a... Can we sabotage the factory? Do we want to sabotage the factory? No, until we, after we get off. I thought we were trying to get off the island. So Good we Thank you. Skip. Thank we you. Go <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep on course. I mean, it is so I mean, weird that I mean, Sarsarel is the voice of reason right now. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of scary. Okay, no, 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 no. Zenos, who last session wanted to get off the island and right. didn't want to spend any time here. So well, well, now, like, now, now we have a way to destroy it. Well, the, the, the thing is that Rune has previously said if he sees me again, he's going to disintegrate me, and I kind of don't want to be disintegrated. How's he going to see you? He's barely got any eyeballs. Yeah. I mean, except for the 11 eyeballs that he has. Yeah, right. So, um, in any event, I, I don't want to be disintegrated. So, just kind of. So, you think it makes options. more sense to piss him off? More. Okay. Yeah, more. pretty much. So, if I'm going to go, I may as well go. You know, I've, got this, okay. I've got this sack of clothes. I'll just disguise you and when yeah. we get we'll back right who's talking to ruined eyes not me oh, him could, or him i got this okay you yeah i'll just you're his champion yeah me you talk to him yeah yeah, talk. yeah. yeah. no no so you got those, no. you got those two, you can punch him right now all right all right all right let's keep going we'll figure we'll figure it out before we get there to run away if you crit him if I crit him, you can knock him prone. All right, it's true. <laughs> How do you knock him prone a prone of 40 eyeball monster? Do you want, Mike, do you want to share around. what the, the knuckles yeah. do, the cobalt knuckles? I get plus two to hit and damage. Nice. And Good. when I hit a creature with a natural 20, they take an additional eight thunder damage and must exceed on the saving throw or fall prone. Nice. Okay. And little lightning bolts occasionally crackle between the oh. clouds. Okay, so yeah. Thor. You knock people down on their ass. No, I don't have a hammer. He's thunder punching them. Yeah. They're thunder got, knuckles. No, what no, if, Mjolnir is brass knuckles. What got. if we? Mm -hmm. What if we 
What if we nicknamed your fist the hammer? Oh, there That's you fine. go. And then the <laughs> other fist, the oh, hammer. Lightning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, uh, Vizago. Yeah. How are you navigating through the jungle? Um, so. Your way? I have two ways, because the first one might not pass. You should negotiate your way through. Yeah, this totally. Is, this I'm is not. Uh, <laughs> creative improv. So. <laughs> well, this, this works really well. I'm going to be performing my way through the jungle, okay. because I'm going to be playing a jaunty marching tune for okay. the rest of everyone oh, else. Right. I love it. Yeah. Does this provide bonuses? Also, I'm going medium. OK, medium. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my rerolls. <laughs> you got one of those? <laughs> yeah. One to spare? A few. <laughs> you should be on. Hey, I'll take that, that one instead. A a that's a natural 26. Natural 26. OK. Halfling. So you, <laughs> you um, lighten everyone's spirits as you... I start with the loot, and then the natural 20 is I pull the pan flute out, on a boom, and I'm playing the flute and the loot at the nice. same time. Wow. Very impressive. Yeah. yeah. It's very impressive. Yeah, I'm um, very good at my job. Okay, so <laughs> you're, you're halfway through this skill challenge. Okay. Uh, Don't blow it. All right, I won't. So, um, or maybe I will. <laughs> during the evening, you guys take, uh, you guys make camp. Mm -hmm. um, and who who does what when you guys are making camp? Ooh, I I'm, sleep. I'm cooking. You okay. sleep inside the head. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, but I'm gonna look for a souvenir. At least I'm gonna like, take an eyeball out or something as a souvenir. To, like to make sure that, or I could do insight maybe to see if it's shield, basically. Safe. <laughs> a safe area. I'm sure it's not like a Try ruby or something? No, the, the head is a giant well, yeah, shield. Yeah, but I'm, I'm looking at the eyeball. Should I make a roll? Let's see if there's or? something. Um, well, I'm just, I'm, I, this is more of like, how, what, what does it look like when you guys start deal. making camp? This is not necessarily part well, of the skill challenge or the encounter. So he's going to start just throwing down his tent, and I'm like, stop. We haven't <laughs> even like made sure that you're not at the bottom of a hill where all the water collects. Let's... All right. Well, make sure the right. water's not going to collect where I'm putting my tent. That's what I do. That. Yeah. All right. And then I can, I can do an alarm spell. And start yep. cooking things oh, up. Spell. Yeah, I can do an alarm That's spell. Great idea. Let me, let me find that. Let's see here. Alarm. <laughs> there we go. It's, I got to open my book and you know, find that. Yeah. Page. Yeah. 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 So uh, okay. So Digital it takes book. me about a minute Tiny to do books. this. It'll last eight hours. And uh, if anyone that's not the five of us walks in, there'll be this huge blaring alarm, kind of like a car alarm. I okay. might imagine. What's a car? The thing we drove around. Oh, yeah. 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 If you didn't have the keys, it would beep at you and, and make a whole bunch of noise. Yeah, or say if like you switch two yeah. people's keys. <laughs> right. So I'll, I'll do that, um, that as a ritual. Okay. Um, and then also if I'm sleeping in the, the head, then uh, there will be Wait, also uh, another alarm. Is this, it's the safest place around. Yeah. You're sleeping inside the <laughs> if head. Any, if yeah. anyone crosses right. into, the, into the head, that will also cause a second alarm that will be more of a mental alarm in me <laughs> to wake me up that someone is encroaching on my space. So anyone gets anyone. into the head. Anyone goes for the head, I'm awake. Okay. Because I don't necessarily trust He's the thieves, the, the, the trustworthy ones. I'm super trustworthy. Uh -huh. It's true, he it's is. He hasn't stolen anything from me yet. He says it in the intro. It says it in the intro. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's okay. I'm, I'm just doing magic stuff. <laughs> doing magic stuff. Don't worry about it. You're good. So, um, no Eric, Cirque du Steel. Yeah, um, you making the food, what does this look like? Well, I've set up my little our little fire, and um, everyone's like contributing any kind of rations. But then all of a sudden, I reach into this little pouch. So you guys notice it looks hang empty, hanging on my on my belt, and I just slowly whisper like salt. And all of a sudden, I can season our food. <clears throat> the hell? He's got a pouch of salt. It's not that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a magic pouch. Of salt. Yeah. Of salt. Of Are you a devil? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I take a offense. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they just see me standing around the magic cook pouch. fire, mumbling words to myself as I'm throwing handfuls of stuff into the pot. And yeah, okay. So whatever, Do you whatever. want some clean water for that? Because I mean, I mean, if you if you poison us, we all die in the jungle. Just. Um, poison. And are you? Is this how his party died? No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that. There, there is a, a cooking proficiency. Survival. Yeah. Why don't <laughs> Not you make, a, why don't yeah. you make a, 
just an untrained what, or, or, or a medicine of, or, or a nature, sleight of hand because no, you're doing no, fancy no. knife work. Uh, just wisdom. Wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not good. <sighs> Seven. Seven. Eh, it's a little over salted. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yeah. Witch's brew has tasted better. <laughs> <laughs> well, that had a special ingredient. Yeah. Love. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> was that the name of the guy? Yeah, that was the name. <laughs> so do you, guys, uh, do you guys do any kind of conversation while you're setting up camp and that kind of stuff? Um, I'm going to be on the lookout for more cameras. Okay. Yeah, so. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to send another one to try to find us. That's fair. Um, so we've, we've been out with that little following camera for a few days. For now, days, so. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, it's, uh, or weeks, because we were. No didn't you say that one night in the wild was was three? Oh, was three weeks? Yeah. So well, it wasn't three, three days. weeks. It was three, three days. days. Oh, it was three days. Okay, so we've been gone for a week off camera for a week. Yeah, um, you don't you don't see any cameras. Um, okay. You do notice that there from time to time are watchers that come um, near your group, but they don't appear to be engaging you. Okay. Um, they seem to be more opportunistic than anything else. Um, and then they, when they see the giant head, they're like, oh, Yeah, no, probably. No, uh, no, not good to do that. They seem like, uh, you guys seem like you're not an easy fight at this yeah. point. Um, are you guys filling uh, fire, uh, Foxfire in on any of what you guys have done at all? Yeah, we can tell them where we're from and how I became the chosen champion of Umberley. I'm always happy to tell you. <laughs> it's, it's a great story. Uh, I can story. tell you about Umberley's blessings. Did you pull out a pamphlet? Yeah, I do. I actually give you a tract. It talks about the dangers of playing fantasy games with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> with, especially with dice. Yeah. Mm. And devils. <laughs> yeah, devils. exactly. Hey! <laughs> 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 a game called Dice and Devils. It, it, devils, it, just, devils with it dice. has yeah. his picture on yeah. it, but now... Just holding some magic dice. Yeah. Yeah. Just a perfect rendering of him somehow. Yeah. But, okay. Well, you know, it, it happens. So, did we get to... We got to did you roll? No, nope. you have not rolled. Okay, no. Doug, uh, how are you going to help the group make it their way through? Well, the since we're gonna shut going through quickly, um, I'm going to grease the sled so that it goes quicker. <laughs> Yes! Thank you. So uh, that would be Arcana, would that it? That would be an Arcana check. No, it wouldn't. Oh! oh. That's a first failure? That's uh, a seven. Is that a success? That is not a success. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how fast are you going? I would have been, well, everyone you was medium, so medium. Yeah, but, I'm okay. the only one that was going fast. All right. Yeah. So no, it was not. Okay, then. Also, at slow, it was not. <laughs> I, I, I rolled a two. I'm surprised right. I didn't do anything. So, so you guys do have an encounter. Hey. Yay! He greases the sled so but the, that extends to the handles that Cirque is holding. Yeah. <laughs> the Why? encounter has us No, you were supposed to move this, into the spell. This goal down ah! the <laughs> Cirque, listen. So the next night, um, you guys are again making camp, and I assume this is very... One, before we get to um, making camp again for the, the next night, what does your marching order look like? Is it Cirque in the front? Or is there mm. someone scouting ahead? S scout, scout in the front, yeah. scout. Then, then Cirque. And then I would be close to Cirque. Okay. I just, I'm sitting For some reason, I'm picturing you yeah. 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 majestically standing yeah, on this head as it's just sliding through. Natural 26 to stealthily hide on the sled. Well, he can't, um, he can't keep up because he's little. He's a little yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't weigh much anyway compared to that. You wouldn't even notice. Uh, as soon as he gets on, though, it becomes much harder to pull because it well, it's was probably... right at your limit, and now it's 25 pounds more. So <laughs> <laughs> well, I greased it for you to make up for that. Did you, though? Yeah. yeah. Did, did. did you, though? Did well, you? there was grease you somewhere. Two. Uh, there was grease somewhere. Yeah. So I can go fast, but I'm still only at 25 feet now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, and then um, one um, of you guys no. is in the back. I mean... I don't like to be a good I'll go in the rear. That's yeah. fine. Right. I have Do you a want to share with the, with the party what your new trident looks like and what it does? Yeah, so my new trident is uh, made out of a material that looks like gold, although it's much harder. And uh, when I whisper, you've been into the shaft, it pulls out the trident blades and then starts sparking with lightning, and it glows very brightly. 
like mm -hmm. enough so that even he could see <laughs> 40 feet out. Wow, so, that's wow. that's useful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or 80 with low light. Oh, okay. So, wow. Uh, and it does lightning and it damage. And it does extra lightning damage on a on a melee attack. So, yeah. cool. Yes. Um, okay, so when you guys set up for camp the next night, um, uh, Eric, do you does uh, Foxfire talk of any about his background? During this travel, <clears throat> um, not not still just kind of no one's really they're not approaching me about things. I'm just kind of <sighs> hanging out. We had that whole conversation <laughs> about the blessings of Amberley, yeah, and now yeah. she well, could really be. So that sword looks familiar. Is it the same sword that? Yeah. yeah. Mm. There's it, it's a similar ver It's not the exact same, obviously, but yeah. um, it is very similar to. Uh, a sword carried by one of the former adventuring companions um, that they have that's back on the ship. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I asked you, like, where'd you get that? My sword? Yeah. So, from the. So, <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's, so it's your military from, organization. It's from, okay, so from the, yeah, yeah from, from the purple, from the purple the lions. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's actually from a platinum dragon. dragon. Um, and they. They don't hand them out just to knights, um, but they do hand them out to people who have accomplished great deeds for Cormier. So, what deeds have you accomplished for Cormier? Well, uh, I was a member of uh, a group called the Purple Lions of Cormier. Um, you know, we modeled ourselves uh, after the great defenders of the city of Cormier, um, and of course. We, well, we traveled here um, because of a war mage sent us, mm -hmm. sent us to the island to uh, scout out something that he had scried. And um, of course, you know the fates of my companions; they all perished here. And, never trust uh, a, never trust a mage. And that, like the loot string breaks a little, and go. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't tell you what to look for. No, just that. Just that he had seen something interesting on the island. He had scried something, and he wanted more information I, on it. I, I, go, I go punch that guy. <laughs> <laughs> right in the yeah. eyeball. Huh, well. And then after I punch him, I'd steal everything he owns and then ransom it back to his family. Except for his uh, <laughs> uh, spell book, which uh, might disappear. That would totally disappear. We're all talking in hypotheticals here, right? Yeah, <laughs> clearly none of this is Absolutely, happened. hypotheticals. Where why is this we, wizard at? Why would we do any of that? We're fishermen. <laughs> That's true. What he said, fishermen. Where, where is this He's wizard at? Back in Cormier. Cormier. Which is uh, a neighboring country to Symbia. Symbia. And you actually Symbia. would recognize the, the vast swamp. So that is an, uh, an area right between on the border. And neither um, country claims it because it is so terrible. Um, but it is a gigantic swamp that um, is rumored to have um, creatures, uh, people who've wandered into the swamp uh, are rumored to have come back as undead. John Malkovich has like a survival shack out there, I think. Oh, it probably does. So uh, <laughs> does Cormier have any ports? Port cities? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. Add that so, to the to-do list? Yep. Add that Fair to the route. So, yeah. um, why well, doesn't Zenos make a history check for me? You keep wanting me to make history. I am not trained in history. I know, but uh, you've got a high intelligence. Uh, okay, so that would be a 21. Okay, so I'm going to explain this in terms that Doug would understand. Okay. Zenos understands it a little differently. Okay. Cormier is like uh, Arthurian legend. Okay. It has knights and a king line that is very long and war wizards that are in a similar fashion to Merlin. Okay. Um, very much not good with piracy. <laughs> okay. Um, but fishing... Fishing they're probably okay with. Yeah, fishing they're probably okay with. That's but, right, we're, we're fishermen. But they are in the region <laughs> um, famous pirate hunters. Um, they, they patrol their area very well. Um, so. They have a magic rod too. It's up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hmm, well, so just to give you a little that's, insight okay. in what <laughs> yeah, this all right. that's where the unmovable like. rod and, went. Yeah. And because you're from this area, you would know. No. So that's like sailing your ship Sense. into Port Royal. 
of yeah. humor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> With and saying, hey, we brought your guys back. <laughs> all right, got it. Fishermen? You just want to disguise a ship before you go there. Yeah. That's all. We'll just make sure the fishing nets are out and visible and the pirate flag is not. Yeah, one of the most famous pirate ships. Oh. Because I... it's the most, one of the most famous pirate captains, right? And the gem? Yeah. Jim? He's he's not so he, there is a a group of pirate lords that mm -hmm. have multiple ships that, that oh, are that's in true. Emmerich's hold. He's not one of those. Yeah. He is kind of his own independent operator. <clears throat> um, but the Tempest Temptress is not unknown. I mean he's yeah, been up for oh, Pirate of ship? the Year a few times. Yeah. He just he, hasn't won it. Never won it. it, it yeah. it's, okay. It's the most deadly <laughs> dangerous one of the most dangerous <laughs> pirates in all the waters of where we're from. Um, hey, come here. I want to ask you something. So, <laughs> so what we do is this: we find a merchant ship or a fishing ship. Okay. We you take, we it. capture it. Yeah. We throw right. it. We we then take the fishing ship. Yeah. That is a legitimate fishing, fishing ship, ship to Cormier. Right. Then go find the wizard, punch him in the face, take his stuff, <laughs> including his spell book, including his spell You're book, cool this, right? sell him the stuff stuff back, Mr. except Good guy. the spell book, yeah, I just, and fun. then sail back to the pirate islands. Question. For an awesome party. Right? Um, yes. Foxfire's uh, alignment is what now? Neutral good. Yeah, okay. All right. Chaotic neutral, neutral good. Chaotic it's all neutral. Fun. It's all really the same, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's all neutral. <laughs> neutral! <laughs> right, look, it was not a good thing for him to send you out there with no idea no, for your party to be massacred. Good. No. Definitely. So, not good. Not so, good. he's and not good. So, if he's not, not good, good must he be no. evil? So, sell him so what we're doing? Piracy. That's right. Not good. <laughs> it's not a good dog. <laughs> Although I will say, um, if we go anywhere near that place, uh, I would like some decent disguises. My alliance was probably sure a good he, idea. I'm pretty sure he just exploded. Can't you cast disguise though? I don't have it. Yeah. My alliance was never to him anyway. It was you, to my team. And how do bards revenge? Work? Is a good thing. Do bards know a certain set number of they spells? They choose spells. Okay. Oh. So um, it's not one that you could just. Pick I can up. just pick up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So we. But you know, <clears throat> some of us. Maybe look like pirates, says the tiefling with covered in tattoos and gold. Covered in pirates. <laughs> yeah. Who's from a very, or the uh, a, fam a famous a pirate, famous pirate ship yeah. of all tieflings. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ha he has tattooed on his forearm. The Hellish Wind is a famous pirate. Wind. Yeah, okay. More, More famous sure. than the Tempest Ten. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll take care of that someday. But yeah. Well, I mean, if, One the, thing at a time. if yeah. the Tempest Temptress had a crew of all one race yeah. and was very notorious in raiding things, yeah. then maybe you guys would be on I don't think that's going to happen. But first, you have to get, we'll work on. first you have to get super racist. Yeah, We're not going to do that. <laughs> all the half Which won't work cool. for the stream, mostly. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Twitch right. would not allow that. Because yeah. be, I mean, like there's a lot of fans of halflings. There's a lot of fans of elves. Yeah. Who's okay. a fan of a halfling? I am. I, know one, I am. I know one guy. You know two. I like halflings. See? I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Mike yeah. likes to play halflings so that he can see what it's like to be small. It's true. <laughs> so, this is, uh, this Howard, is what it's like to have a leg room in an you, MR2. You are next. I've got tons of leg room. Up in our skills challenge. Excellent. You just took both the driver. I and the am <laughs> going to uh, pray a blessing over oh. over my uh, my journey. All right. Now, I'm besieging uh, uh, really to watch out for you. This has nothing to do with me doing math about how many rolls are left gonna, and I'm how just, much confidence I have in you. But you have an inspiration die you can oh. use for a d20 roll in case you want it. I can D6. also use a cantrip to give myself a d4. Yeah. So there you go. There you ask go. for guidance on this roll. There you go. So I'm really hacking this skill challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't so specifically wait until we had about five rolls to... left or anything like that. That'd be ridiculous. I mean, I could make an insight check <laughs> to determine whether the course that we're taking makes He's the most fastest. sense. Yeah. If you, it's it's up to you. This is free form. Because we're just going straight back through the yeah. forest, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm gonna steer him a little bit. Okay. <laughs> no, you're not. A three. Hold on. Roll that D6. Yeah. And a D4. And oh. D4. Go. oh, look at that. There you go. <laughs> you get to re-roll that D20, too. Yeah. Three. 
That's what That's I rolled. Right. Oh, yes. yeah. Maybe so roll that. Maybe roll that d6. Roll that d6. Roll that d6. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. I forgot. Any, any little thing helps. <laughs> oh, threes. Yeah. Threes Sorry. around. So Ooh. that's a 14. A 14. And you are going um, slow, medium, Man, or fast? Middle of the road, of course. Medium. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because if I said slow after that roll, yeah. that feels like <laughs> cheating. I feel like cheating. Just wanted to give you. Wait. Do I? If I we roll with. In a, with inspiration, do I get to choose either yeah, of the two yeah. rolls? Mm -hmm. So that's a better. 15. Okay. Which Not is good, because I don't for no particular reason, 15, 15 is way better than 14. <laughs> better. It just feels, it just better. feels <laughs> right. It just feels that one, one tier better. <laughs> that one tier better, like almost if most rolls were in increments of five. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, Mike, we're back to you. Was that a success or a failure? We'll find out, I guess. Oh. We haven't had an encounter. Hey, That's Mike, by the, by the way, completely unrelated, you have a D6. <laughs> oh, yeah. all right. On your roll. How come you didn't um, give me a D6? Because I, was, I needed to wait until we were on the second round. I want to remember the path between the mountains. It's one, two, three. And a D4. Four, five. And a D4, okay. I have five okay. inspirations. But they, I mean, they'd already made it, and you'd made it before it got to me. Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> but you, we have five more because it's going around. I thought it was oh, going six. Seven. No, this is six that's much total. Better. Six checks total. So he's the last, last one. Check. Oh, okay. Well, I did my math. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, 28 on my <laughs> survival <laughs> check. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> that's that is really a, you plot a decent course. Through, through <laughs> I go, your remain uh, in the jungle. I remember that there's a mountain there, and I can see one there. We're going to go in that one. Okay. So now that we're finished with this build challenge, yeah. it was, the DCs were. Um, were uh, 10, 13, and 15. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, so just, Doug's the only one that failed us. Just, yes. Just yep. so the audience knows. Just totally so. a 15. But he can say it's a 13. Zenos. <laughs> <laughs> Zenos, our acting captain, is also acting skilled. Okay. So, um, as you're making your way back. Sir, punch him. That's a deception. <laughs> you believe that I'm skilled. Mm. As you're making your way back, you come yep. to a uh, massive stone arch that juts from the jungle floor. Um, uh, a crumbling ruin wall extends uh, in either direction about 15 feet um, with a shattered marble floor beyond. Um, you, can, uh, you can see from a distance that there is um, a, a dwarven writing can be seen on the scripted into the sections that remain. Um, but you'd have to get closer to read, Does anybody who speak read what's written there. Um, oh. I speak I might um, have Aquin. <laughs> if that helps. I got Infernal. Does that cover. help anybody? Need, need Infernal. I speak Common. I also speak Celestial. And orc. And Elvish. So not Dwarf. Not Dwarf. dwarf. I thought you, you've been telling me for like months that you speak Dwarf. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's, that's true. And now you're and lying Cobalt. to me? He also speaks Cobalt. I also speak Goblins. Stop Goblin. lying Goblin. to me and go Goblin. read the Goblin. Dwarf. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to go look at that thing, and I'm going to give it a real good look. <laughs> OK, does Xenos have comfort languages before you do that? Um, where do my spells go? I was looking at it a second ago. Oh, please tell me you do, because I totally read Dwarf now. You, you read dwarf? Okay. Well, he's yeah. been saying it. He speaks dwarf uh, yeah. the whole time. Well, and the problem. Well, here's the problem. Even if you don't have it, I apparently read dwarf. So I'm. It's yeah, gonna. He's like, nope. I, I don't. <laughs> he's don't like, nope. I don't speak dwarf. dwarf. To dwarf. To have okay. I got identify okay. mage armor. You're just being scared of the ruins. Just Shield, stop being a earth coward. Should cast Knock. identify on the tiefling, and see if it says he's yep. a liar. It says trustworthy. I don't know. Weird. In quotes. It says it says it says trustworthy. But yeah, in, in parentheses quotes. underneath it says never play dice with him ever. Yeah. 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 No, you're on your own. Okay. Go right. read the war. So, can I do? Um, what is what does this look like when you stop um, yeah. to to go inspect this? What? Who's where? Who's standing where? Well, apparently we're all way up there, and he's going down by himself. Well, I'm I. Pull up and stop, and then I walk okay. with him. There's a yeah. there's a clearing. There's vines all around uh, the the clearing. The tree line stops. Um, and yeah, I want to get out of the tree line. Okay, and then there's a sand uh, sand covered ground that the vines are kind of resting on. Um, a sand covered ground. Yes, mm -hmm. it's sandy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then 
then you throw something heavy on at the same and see what happens. Yeah. And then you're walking mm -hmm. up to the um, up to the arch. Yeah. yeah well, okay. Before you do that, <laughs> can I cast the tech magic just to see if there's any magical auras sure, down there? Sure, absolutely. Why would reasonable? there be magical auras? I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I don't know. And then I'm, can you cast the tech mm -hmm. magic? Yep. And then I'm, uh, I'm studying the ground. He has magical again. items on him. Yep. Uh, he has magical items on him. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're all going magical. What about the arch and the vines <laughs> and all that? Um, no. Okay. See? Go on down. Cool. We, we uh, before, in Dwarven, it says, I'm in Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just on the Good thing outside. I don't speak Big Dwarven. Dwarven. <laughs> <laughs> before, we, before he reads, how, what's the range on Detect Magic? Are we this will explain how close uh, you have to be to do that. Let's see it's here. Detect fun. magic is um, for the duration. I sense the presence of magic within thirty feet of me. Okay, 30 so thirty feet. So, yep, so. to get to um, the stone arch to figure out whether or not that's magical, yeah, you have to be 30 feet. within thirty feet of it. Yep. Okay, and mm -hmm. I'm just behind him. Okay. okay. And you're out just on in the front outside of him. Of, with, um, oh, you're just walking heart. up with him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and I'm you? studying. I'm staying around the tree line. Okay. So what you see as these getting cover. these yeah. four individuals walk into um, the, the sandy ground is they um, almost immediately begin to sink into the ground. What? No. I know. Who could have studied this? I should have studied the ground. This is just sand. Should have studied the ground. So <laughs> who's our survival this is, expert here? This is quicksand. The uh, guy that's not in here. Sir. I'm not the survival oh. expert. You're the <laughs> survival expert. Yeah, Rand yeah, right, would have definitely yeah. caught I had a four. Right away. My, my survival is So this is four. quicksand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it requires an athletics check to negotiate. Okay. Um, and every fine. every to round, negotiate. you sink five feet. <laughs> so that's going to be a problem for me. <laughs> and you. what you also see uh -huh. is the vines start moving a little bit. Oh, good. Um, because there is a creature here. Um, oh, an assassin that, vine? Yeah, an oh. assassin vine. Shite. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sure it's... So why don't, we roll, why don't we go ahead and roll initiative? Mm. Don't worry, guys. We'll be fine. So Shadow, we're <laughs> sinking at the end of our turn or the beginning of our turn? We'll, we'll, we'll answer that. Okay, well, I got a natural 20. Okay. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No? I rolled, uh, a, I rolled a 13. Howard? What'd you get? Uh, 13. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Eric? 16. I rolled a nine, so I got a thirteen. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That's pretty good. All right. That's what I got. So. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> Same Not bad. Thing. Same thing. Mike, Same I'm assuming exactly. you high five yeah. Doug because you got an after twenty. Yep. Okay. So you guys <laughs> can figure out who between you two wants to go first. You should make Xenos go first, just to see what happens. What happens when a halfling sinks five feet? <laughs> <laughs> well, he no longer becomes a threat for the assassin vine. Oh, hold on, now. He can't be targeted. No target. Yeah, the same maybe, thing maybe that happens to anybody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does a halfling sound like with sand in his mouth? We're about to find out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that is why the sinking before at the beginning or the end of my turn matters. It's true. Okay. So. So um, who's going first? How come if uh, we're sir. like thirty feet farther back, we're sinking at the same rate that they are? Quick sand, man. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. <laughs> yeah, because it's well, it's not magic, because Doug would have sensed it. <laughs> no, it's not magical. So, no, so magic. you're going first. I'm gonna go first. Okay. How far am I from these guys? So or, you, or are they just like right behind us? You guys That's are why. just walking up. I would assume that you're within within five feet, five to ten to maybe yeah. fifteen at the farthest feet of each other. Okay. So I'm gonna. Can I grab Xenos? If you would rather save him than yourself, sure. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are, you're, like, it has sunk up to, like, your thighs at this mm -hmm. point. Um, and His it, eyes. It has sunk up. <laughs> and he's, he's, he is lighter. Oh, yeah. That's so he, it has only sunk up to his, like, hips. It oh. might make more sense for me to go first. Can you pour? Because I can, can, I can just get, I can teleport out of here. Oh. Yeah, remember he can maybe. That's why I was asking if. Oh, you can just thing. misty step. Yeah. That's what I'm going to yeah. do. It's a verbal component. I just want to make sure I can talk. Okay. You didn't have sand in your mouth. Right. That, that was the deciding factor. So if I go first, I miss you step 30 feet away. Okay, 30 feet towards the arch or away into the tree line? Into the uh, onto the arch. <laughs> um, well, most of my spells have a range of more... Well, how, how big is the sand? I mean, is it sand all the way to the tree line? Uh, yeah. 
Okay. You're in an area that is roughly um, 40 feet. Okay. Before the stone arch. Okay. And the tree line is 40 feet away. So, you, so I can't teleport. You've, uh, no, safety. you've walked in. Yeah. And by the time you've spent your movement action to walk in, you've realized, oh crap, here's the danger here. So you're okay. any, like halfway. rock outcropping okay. things um, in the area that you yeah. can stand on. So since yeah. my speed is 25 feet, I'm 25 feet from the trees, if yes. that's what I did. Yeah. And I'm 30 feet from the stone arch. Right. Because that's where Either I Either one is a possibility that you could get to. Um, I'll teleport on the stone arch then. Okay. Yay! Why not? Whip. That was Hooray! my bonus action, and then... As my action, since there's that viney thing. So there's a bunch of vines. All right, but I you do can't I can't tell which one's moving. Fireball. They're all moving. Fireball, fireball. We could all make our just dex saving throws. Well, I, I, I don't have we fireball. I got that flaming It'll sphere. I could just put on something. That's better. It's even better. Because then it's so, not going to just don't put sit it on next us. to me. So I'll put the put the flaming sphere um, next to I guess the biggest mass of vines that are the closest to Cirque, right? Because you're the cl you're the next closest, yeah. and you like Cirque best. Well, you were behind me. That's true. Okay. So <laughs> and Cirque is the next one in in the most danger, I would think. Right. I, I would say you're all in danger, but that's fine. Okay. So you put it in a big mass of vines. Yeah, big mass of vines. Starts burning the vines yep. away. Yep. Uh, I'm not even gonna make you roll. It just starts beginning to incinerate the vines, and they stop moving very quickly. Okay. Shipwreck. All right. So I'm gonna use athletics check to then try to get myself out. Uh -huh. That's a 10, everybody. That's a 10. That's a 10. <laughs> so you do not sink more, okay. but you do not get, you're currently restrained, which means your speed is zero. Okay. And is that a move action or is it a standard action to try to get up? It is a move action. Okay. okay. So then I want to try to do it again. Okay. That's a 24. Okay. You seem to pull yourself free and it's slow going, um, but you can move half your speed towards the edge of the um, the pit uh, okay. of quicksand um, and you get to the edge and at this point it's just going to be five feet of movement to pull yourself out of the quicksand okay. um, and you're not in any danger of shrinking anymore because or uh, sinking anymore because as Howard deftly uh, declared um, it is it there there is a grade yeah Okay, so, uh, Eric, what's Foxfire doing? So, if I wasn't in the quicksand, I've just got vines all around me that are moving. Mm -hmm. um, can I just acrobatics and try to jump away from the moving vines? So, the vines are, are the vines are covering the quicksand. Cover, oh, they're covering the quicksand. Okay. So, it kind of acted as an additional disguise. Basically, this creature here was like, oh, a pit of quicksand. Well... And that it has works. the ability to animate vines. So um, so it just set up a trap for creatures that were coming through. Okay. So you're not in any current danger, but at this point, it, everything looks like a vine that is <laughs> snaky moving. Uh, moving around, and you can't really tell what is different from what else. Mm. Any flammable. Nope. <clears throat> I just got a bow and some daggers and a sword, and I shoot. can <laughs> shoot the vines. Or you know, it's I'm probably just... the wizard. Shoot the wizard. Oh, Don't shoot the wizard. <laughs> you can shoot him right off that arch. Oh, he's gonna take falling damage. Everybody's oh. gonna go <laughs> be happy yeah. unless he falls into the quicksand. <laughs> well, which, in small, in which case, I'm gonna be happy because he's gonna be face down in quicksand. <laughs> no, no, no. I can make the acrobatics. I'll land face up. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna ready. Ready my sword and okay. just, yeah. All right. Shoot a rope. Um, sword and you can start rope. making your way around one side or the other if you wanted to, to kind of get, connect with the party if you want. Just yeah. throwing that out there. Sand. I'm going to, beware sand. I'm going <laughs> to, obviously I'm going to avoid where uh, avoid Zeno's through the, they got the for, fire. So uh, I'm going to, I'll start moving around the other way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the You're welcome. Thank you. That's uh, what Zerg's here for. Yeah. Vizago, uh, you're in, you're in yeah. sand. So I'm going to do the athletic checks first here. Okay. That would be a 22. A 22, is, you're able to wade than. your way across oh. um, to the other side. Yep. And that is your move. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Are you like, training in Survivor? Uh, yeah. Why don't you make a survival check? Sure. 
This will this will be your freedom. Is, it, is this arch like surrounded by the sand, or is the arch off to one side? No, you know, it's forest in a kind of an arc, and then uh, island of safety, oh, so you and then that. sand in between. Okay. Because they were punishing me for using luck on a survival check. Uh, so that's a five. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know that there's vines. Yeah. <laughs> you also know that vines typically don't move like snakes. Oh god, guys, these are normal vines. <laughs> you must uh, be trained in survival. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what would we do without you? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so what do you do? <laughs> how many vines are around me at this point where the place I moved? Uh, like is there a good grouping of them around yeah, me? Sure. And none of my party members are within say fifteen feet of me. No. Nah. That's good. Oh, uh, I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. Ah, <laughs> I'm taking my Thunder Wave. <laughs> wave. wave. Okay. All right. So that is 2D. This is the first time I get to use. Okay. For what? I'm not in his all, Thunder Wave, am I? All will be revealed. Do I make it now? Yeah. These dex Heat is damage to whoever best. fails this uh, you, 15 dexterity. So this, oh. these are vines, so they don't make their save. They yeah, just take right. the damage. And they just get shattered and blown away, and you are covered in plants. And what was your save? Do I get an advantage or a disadvantage for this? Because I'm stuck in the. Uh, yeah, let's do disadvantage. Sweet. Why not? I rolled a five both times. <laughs> <laughs> so with my bonus, that's a five. Okay, so you are also covered in muddy, sandy mess, just all over you. I'm super happy about it. <laughs> Because <laughs> basically what happens is you create a wave yeah. <laughs> that crashes over your party yeah. member. Um, all right, Sars Realm. I'm thinking about making a thunder wave right what? back at him. <laughs> You're going to splash Boom! right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when two party members have thunder wave every and time. Then, and then there's like no more quicksand after a while. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to hey, do that. Hey, look at this pit, guys. Yeah. I think I'll go ahead and cast thunder wave. Okay. Because why not? All right. It's super fun. So I, I look at you and I'm like, I shake my head. I kind of go like this. this. Yeah. And you then don't I go. Have disadvantage. Boom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thunder wave. Natural. Oh. Ah. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, so you, he spots you and he moves right behind the pillar and yeah. just. And that pillar is now covered with ah. all that stuff. So yeah. now, as my move action, am I still in the quicksand? Or yes, but it's going to be an easier DC. <laughs> okay. So that is a 24 on my okay. athletics check. So as you're making your way through your athletics check, you make your way across the sand, um, and you feel um, a constriction as... It's like tug on my heart. Yeah, well, not on your heart, yeah. on your uh, ankle. Oh, good. Um, it's Diane Auger. As... Um, it's like it's a 20, does 25 hit you? It does. Okay, good, good, good. Good, okay. Um... So, oh, max damage. Um, That's not what you want to hear. No. 16 uh, bludgeoning damage. Ow. And so you are grabbed and pulled below the surface of the sand. Told you it was a dynamic. Well, so you see him almost making it his way out, and a vine just goes whoosh. And Did the thunder wave do any damage to this creature? No, or was it, was it behind you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cube. Cube from you, so even if it was behind you, it'd still take damage. Yeah. No, it's not cube it's this way. It's out your direction. It's one direction. Okay. That new hit band from yeah. Cormier. Yeah. Um, all right. I don't Zenos. Like all right. So I see one him nine. go under. Yep. Do I see what's behind him? If that's where the creature you is. You see. Um, you see a vine into the sand, okay. and then you see it go into the sand, and okay. then you assume that's. Okay. It's underneath the sand and surface because it doesn't need to breathe. Okay. Um, so my flaming sphere, mm -hmm. I can move as a bonus action 30 feet. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move it towards where he went down. Oh, good. To torch the mm -hmm. vine. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So I'll run it into into that and into the vine and the vine creature. Make an arcana check. That's a nine. You think that's a good plan? No, it's a okay. great plan. I mean, it's a fantastic plan. And you get a little close to where Sarsarel's ankle is. Well, I go around if oh, I can. Okay. I mean, if I see him, I... Sure. Because I don't okay. want to torch him. 
but I want to torch the vine. So that's what the Arcana check was about. Oh, like okay. how close you got it to him. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so if I can do it within thirty feet, do that, and then does it need to? If that's the creature and not just vines, it is the creature. Okay, so it needs to make a um, creature must make a saving throw. DC is now fifteen because I'm using my uh, foam green rod to direct my flaming sphere. Okay. And uh, what saving throw? It dex. Dex. Okay. So I have no bonus, but I rolled a nineteen. Okay. So it takes four fire damage. It takes two fire damage. No. I rolled an eight. I divide by two because you made the save. Why do you divide by two again? Damage resistance, oh. fire. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then the vines that were down at the, at the base of the column that were on fire? They're not moving. Well, yeah, but they're still fire. They're dead. You but they're them. burning. Yeah. Okay. They continue to burn. Right. Yeah. So there's non magical fire right there. Sure. Yeah. That I can control. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to expand that five feet towards some other vines. Okay. And that's a cantrip. So All right. Because, well, I will say, between the two of these uh, thunder waves, they've destroyed most of the vines that were covering the pit. But you well, I'm worried to... about the vines that are around the column that I'm standing on top of. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. Um, all right. That was Xena's shipwreck. You want to um, read the dwarven runes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quicksand. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beware. Yeah, there's beware. Quicksand. Beware of quicksand. Like <laughs> all right. So I'm going to... Walk around the sand as much as possible right. to try to get to the arch. All right. That's about it. Okay. You, you can double move and get there. Yep. Yeah, no problem. All right. <laughs> the last okay. five feet. Walk back. Yep, I just continued moving around. Yeah. Uh, I'm there. No issue. <laughs> You're like, hey guys, <clears throat> what's going on? Kill the viney thing that's got him. Does that go? Hmm. Uh, first off, as a bonus action, I'm going to give you an inspiration, so you have a d6 for your next d20 roll. Thank you. Does he have to hear you to, for that to happen? You know what? That's a good point. I don't know. Actually. Um, if you're you, you've like got that. a player's handbook that your elbow's on. Yeah. Um, why don't you look that up real sure. quick? Because I don't know that he could hear you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could hear you if I'm in the swimming pool. It's uh, actually, like he can hear me. It's buried under the sand. Huh? He can hear me. If I, uh... If you message him? If I message him. Okay. Hmm, there you go. So I get a D6? Sure. If you want, if he, it, it now I can't is a, do anything. Now <laughs> it's a question of whether or not. Strength check. Cast any spell. Yeah, I can do an athletics check. I can it, it takes out, a right? turn or not, yeah. Can yeah. you use your, can you activate your. I can't. I, so you have to talk. Activated. Yeah, it is who can hear you. That's right. the command word. Viper armed. <laughs> no, it's, you've been. And then they get thunderstruck. <laughs> yeah. It is, it is here. Okay. Uh, so I, you would have to do a message to, to, to send it to him. Do an inspiration. Or do and I you could say you damage. respond to this message. <laughs> sure, if I can. <laughs> Check yes or no. Check yes or no. Um, do you so require assistance? Over. So I guess I don't quite have the picture. <laughs> okay. So we have a so vine he, that's up, and then he, he got, just got sunk down below the sand. He got almost to the edge right where um, Cirque did last time. So mm -hmm. he was at, at the edge. And he was about to step out. A vine wrapped around his um, leg and pulled him back. You yeah. don't know how far back. Okay. Um, and then the vine, where it's um, where its uh, attachment is, mm -hmm. is on the far side where you guys walked past. Okay. And it was a vine, so you couldn't tell. Could I do an Arcana check to see whether, like, now that I have a bit more clues, whether I can place what this thing might be? Arcana or survival. Arcana. Thank okay. you. Uh, no. Hmm. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm the god of luck. Uh, how about an 18? An 18? And what are you trying to decipher? Uh, what kind of creature this is? This is an uh, assassin vine. And um, also, if I if I can just get one detail, what its intelligence might be. Yeah. Okay. So it has an intelligence of one. Okay. Um, it is resistant to fire and cold. It is immune to being blinded, deafened, exhausted, or prone. Mm -hmm. It has blind sight. Um, it does not need to breathe, uh, which is why it was under the the surface of the quicksand. Um, while um, it remains motionless. It is indistinguishable from a normal plant. 
Um, and it also has the ability to animate nearby vines and um, constrict. All right. Um, this seems like a crazy enough plan. Uh, I'm going to run up to where that vine is. Okay. Um, and stab it. Okay. Uh, Go for it. That is a 21 to hit. You know, strangely enough, that hits a plant. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and spend another part of mm. bardic inspiration to do a psychic attack. Oh, psychic blades. Yes. So that is 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. Okay. It takes all of that damage. I didn't know what it was. I was trying to burn Wait, up aren't the plant. you a wizard? <laughs> uh, and what you hear is, <laughs> aren't you submerged? And then, yes, a bubble. yes, I'm submerged. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing my character. Okay, right. sorry, sorry, Sorrel. And then, since I uh, couldn't give him an inspiration and his bonus action, I just want to grab the vine, kind of tug. I'm trying to agitate it. Okay. Okay. Can I uh, do a gentle massage? Can I make like a free insight check to know if it would be better to try to make an athletics check to escape or an attack against the vine that's grappled me? Sure. Okay. Well, that's not great. A nine on my insight um, check. It's tough to read. All right. Um, I'll try to escape. Punch yeah. It, punch it in the face. Would it be an athletics check to try to escape the grab? So, uh, escape is either ac acrobatics or athletics. Mm. Okay, so it, it is athletics yeah, for me. Mm -hmm. So I will try to make an athletics check to escape. All right. And that is a 25. Oh, yeah, you whip <laughs> free. Okay. Just... All right. Yep. And then I guess I'll try to move back up above yep. the surface. Now you need to make an athletics check again. And that is not as great. That is a 13. You do not. Okay. But you do not sink further. Yeah. Hooray! <coughs> <laughs> Still submerged. Uh, Xenos? All right, so... So now you know exactly what you should be attacking, because uh, okay. you've got okay. uh, so, Zago standing up. Um, so. Did it have its turn yet or no? Oh, shit. Sorry, Doug. Thanks. Thanks, mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. You're, you're welcome, because it takes damage on its turn, because it's, if it ends, it's turn next to my spear. Uh, that is a 24 versus your AC. Oh, yeah, you? that... So it, it, it's going to grab you again. Oh, double sixes again! Yay! So that is 16 damage. All right, I'm and fine. And then it takes damage. How, how, how are you doing? I'm doing so good. You submerged. <laughs> so good. You live up to your name. Just, to be just so we're clear. The sand. This was the easy encounter. Did, <laughs> did it end its turn adjacent to my... Okay, so it needs to make a deck save again. I, it, it, does, it does not. Well, sure. It is, it is a living vine. Uh, six? So it fails, <laughs> so it takes, Damn. that's 12 fire damage, but Six it's... Six fire damage. There you go. All right. You, you guys are killing this thing. So, um... You guys have it almost dead. Mm, mm, no, um, not almost dead. Not almost dead? I mean, it's, it's injured, um, to be fair. It's an injured vine. So I'm going I to... I can grab all these. I'm going to firebolt it. Okay. Because that's what I do. Yeah. I mean, I could grease the thing. Would that help? Oh, yeah. It might grease light it. it up more on fire. It might make it harder for it to grease. grab me. <laughs> would, would, if I, gre <laughs> if I grease the vine, would that make it no. harder for it to grab him? No. Well, you're greasing it at the top of the vine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know if grease is. Actually I good. may not. So I'll just I'll just shoot it. So okay. um, grease Cirque. because Cirque's about to dive in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. He's gonna make less of a splash. You gotta save your little, <laughs> little late for that. Um, so that would be a twenty-one to hit it with my firebolt. Strangely enough, that hits. Okay. So that take that's another eight fire damage. Okay. Four more. And um, yeah, is it flammable by chance? Uh, yeah, it's got resistance to flame. <laughs> yeah, it's so. not that flammable. All right. Um, you can make a flame retardant. You might say. All right, so I'm making an athletic check in. of 13 to jump okay. into okay. or onto the vine. With a 13, you make somewhat of a splash. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to pull the vine that's grabbing Okay, him. so you, when you get down there, so you've got <clears throat> dark vision. Mm -hmm. There is an absence of light once you're underneath. But you can kind of like tell that it's got him. Right now, it's kind of like wrapped up around his waist and his hips. So you can grab onto it. Um, 
And you, if you're trying to make a grapple, that would be, I believe, just an attack roll. Yeah, right? I just yeah. have to hit it. Yeah. So that is a 14. Uh, that hits. Okay. So you grab it. All right. And can I do? Can I bite it? <laughs> sure. Because <laughs> sure. Why not? So that's another 13 to hit it. That hits. Okay. It is a <laughs> <laughs> And it's kicking my 11 ass. damage. Okay, it takes 11 damage. <laughs> it kind of rides. Um, and now you're not constricted anymore because he's grabbed oh, and good. pulled it off of you. Um, okay, uh, fire, Foxfire? And there, so it's, it's almost the same also sticking out of the sand so I can. Yeah, Shoot it. so I can you see where he is. You okay. can stand on the other side. You have, now have, loading. have advantage to attack him. <clears throat> well then, let's shoot that thing with some arrows. Yeah, all right. Or not. But advantage, so take that is much better. Phew, <laughs> that's a 23. Oh, like that that's good. Is, what <laughs> did you have before? Uh, considering oh, the whole offer no. of position yeah, of the crew yeah. with that. Yeah, I mean, that's... And the eight... Ooh, do At I least get your sneak? shares thing coming to question. I sneak attack? Uh-huh, yeah. All right. Oops. I need to Jobs me all these the deck. Stickers. Here we go. So, oh, that was a terrible. That is five and 11 more is 16 piercing damage. Okay. It takes it. Zaga. Zaga's in there. He's got the thing on the crap, and he's like, and... And he activates his armor. Okay. Uh, nice. So it can take... It can try and make a, a DC reflex save. It will try, 14. natural one. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it. So it takes uh, four electric damage this turn. Okay. Um, and then continues to take it yeah. next turn. For and while. then as a bonus, um, you're still underneath the sand. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, then it just... you take one electricity damage, by the way. Yeah, if you're adjacent to me. Well, no. He's holding on to the vine. You're yeah, shocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, and he's yeah. in kind of oh, a watery, sandy mix. Yeah. <gasps> adjacent to something that's being shocked. He's not being grabbed anymore. Oh, yeah. okay. He freed him. Okay. That was specifically part of the... What, that's why I kept on trying to get tug it, so it would go for me. <laughs> I was worried I was going to shock him to death. You have done one sixtieth uh, of my damage. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Uh, and then you can go ahead and take an inspiration die, though. All right. Um, all right. Sarsaro? You're now ungrappled. All right, so I'm going to make an athletics check to get out. Okay. And that is a 20. You make it. Okay. So you, you climb your way out of the sandy pit. You're a mess, a real okay. mess now. So do I still have an action left? You have sand everywhere. everywhere. You have standard action. Everywhere. Uh, you okay. have standard action. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and cure wounds as well. Okay. Because I could use that. All right. Sounds like good. Uh, Mike, it is going to attack you with huh. this constriction. I am shocked. Ah, yeah, just turn it <laughs> for, one, for one damage. Um, it can't get a hold of you. Oh, it died right. uh, with a three, so it's eight, uh, so nine. No. All right. So it needs to make a deck save. Luckily, it's six, seven, three times. So it takes six fire damage. All right, three fire damage. All right, and that's my turn. It is now. Your so turn. with my um, foam green rod. Okay. Uh, as of my bonus action, I move the flaming sphere about 15 feet back and ram it into it again. So okay. let's make another save. <laughs> okay. Uh, natural. Okay, so Aww. it takes, um, that was five, so it, one more fire damage from that. Okay. And then um, I'm go and then out of the, the foam green rod, a bolt of flame goes out of it. Um, and that would be a 12 to hit it. That is not going to hit the flame. All right, well. Misses that. All right. <laughs> I, I like Zeno's things of fire boss. retardant. Hell yeah, it is. I tell you what's fire retardant. <laughs> and you start unleashing more flames on it. <laughs> Eventually, this thing will burn. It will like burn. You have a Everything <laughs> burns. You, you have a vengeance to get anything that refuses to burn. <laughs> it will burn. Shipwreck? I'm going to punch it twice. All right. The metal dinosaur. Oh, burn. natural 20s! Oh. So, 8 thunder damage, and it's prone. Take that. Condition is one of its thing is, is right. it can't be fun. So four, eight, nine, uh, eighteen damage from the first punch. Is that including your additional eight? No. So include that. 
Okay, so 26. 26. You kill from, it. From a punch. <laughs> <laughs> and kill then the, the sand just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Can I just climb out? Yeah, now, now you, um, you've, the three of you with your thunder damage have knocked enough sand out of the pit that it is no longer a quicksand pit. Hey, it's on the bottom. So it is just a, a pit. sand pit. Okay, so looking around, do we see any, um, any treasure here? I mean, I'm still detecting magic, right? So um, You see some dead bodies. You don't see any treasure. Nothing worth it? No. Uh, the Zago is still shocking and holding the vine. He goes, beware quicksand. <laughs> it says beware quicksand. <laughs> I thought it might. Say. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna. So there's nothing on these bodies that found him. Mm-mm. Damn. Nope. There's uh, dwarven, uh, battleborn dwarves bodies down here too that have been just strangled to death. All right, I pulled them out. Okay. Too late. Okay. Too late. You know, they, those dwarves could have told us about this. Maybe they didn't know. Yeah. It's got dwarven writing here. It so might not be that. It's not them. It's not them. They're not that kind of dwarf. I thought they were. They're dwarves, no, they're but they're me- mechanical, mechanical dwarves. dwarves. They're not the... Yeah. These are the they're dwarves from, from the... Place. I thought... The you elemental s- eye. You so said these are battleborn. I thought you said the other guys were battleborn. So the battle, there are battleborn at the bottom of the pit. Right. Battleborn aren't native to this island. They came with the ship. Right. The yeah, dwarves so that were native to this island are the ones that... the. Elder Elemental Eye worshippers. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. And since no one okay. speaks Dwarven, um, what you know is that it says quicksand. Yeah. 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 Um, so you guys continue yeah. to so there's, back. So I searched the rest of the area. There's just nothing else in this. Yeah, right? Oh. Weird. Oh, did I Dwarven, give you, did I give you monetary one. value when you searched um, the... The, the cave? The cave? No, you gave him cave. 50 gold, that was about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you guys That's find a total of um, random coinage and jewelry um, worth um, 1,050 gold worth yeah. of coinage. 1,050 or 1,000? 1,050. There was a different amount yeah, oh, okay. before he stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So... Okay, that's very good of you. <laughs> Added to the, <laughs> the ship's knight of Cormier. <laughs> He's not a knight. You gotta pay the cost. Just getting true. used to the party. We're sitting on the ship for the last week, waiting for us to come back. You know, after they're not there, right. they lose well, their share. That's, okay. Now he can and pay. You don't have a way yeah. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. they're not getting their share. All right. They better be waiting. I mean, I just so you make your way back to uh, <laughs> town. Okay. And do we rest between this encounter and getting to town, if or? You want to. I mean, that um, sounds like a pretty good I, idea. I, 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 th- I just don't know where we were in the process. Or something. You guys were. This was this an encounter that happened along. Um, okay. So you guys could. Yeah. Okay. So we would have. That would have been before the last <coughs> night in. Or yeah. Yeah. I get my one or hit is that point the, back? the same day that we go back. <laughs> yeah, you do. It made a bigger difference. <laughs> so more importantly, it I get was my four three days left. of travel. This encounter happened somewhere along the way. Yeah. Okay. And you guys can rest before you return to town. Okay. So the only spell I've used today is my mage armor that's been up every day. Yep, every day. Only At dawn, every right? Day. At dawn. Dead too. <laughs> um, okay. So you return to town. Um, Quietly. The Bullywugs greet you. And um, they say that uh, uh, though the bullywug um, that can speak English or common mm-hmm. um, Europe. says that yeah Europe says that um, uh, Rune Eyes has been looking for you. Um, you guys went off camera for some time, and he be uh, very quiet. Don't tell Rune Eyes. Make a wisdom saving throw. I got 25 on my stealth. Okay. And my wisdom saving throw is a 7. Okay, so you're charmed by a yark. And he says, come on, let's go. <laughs> this isn't a bad idea. She said, you didn't want to go. I you don't want to go. Yeah. I don't want to go. But, you, um, but maybe it's not yark a bad is idea. one of your closest friends. Uh, except for every round he gets a save. Yep. So, Does he? Yeah. Well, let me charm look at person. charm person. Yeah. I happen to have that spell. I know it when he's casting it. Oh, he's going to charm me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where, 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 where am I right up on the charm person? There it is. So, um, wisdom saving throw. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that would have been a nine. 
Um, Still hit. Yeah, it's <laughs> below a 10. And does so with advantage if you or your companion are fighting it. Well, he wasn't fighting me at the time. Nope. Um, if it sa fails, I'm, ch I'm charmed until the spell ends, and it's got a duration of one hour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or I fail, or until you or your companions do anything harmful to it. Asking me to go to rune dice is harmful to me. No. no. Yeah. Well, no, but we know it will the be. The charm creature regards you as friendly acquaintance. When the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. So. That's the. So it's. I think it's probably fine. Uh, no, I'm actually going to stop Xenos from going. Okay. Why? We uh, don't know. I mean, he could have been joking. He could have been sarcastically he saying he was going to disintegrate Xenos. No. no, no. You don't think it was sarcastic? I don't mm -hmm. think no. so. So when you step in to stop Xenos from following, Yarp looks at you and says, "What? Don't you want your money?" Yes, I want my money, but he needs to get our ship ready. Why? Because he's the captain. Why? Why do you ask so many he questions? Doesn't look like a captain. You do have. A I've got the Stephen. captain's coat. Yeah, okay. Hey, um, captain's hat, captain spyglass. I'm the captain. I haven't been able to do yet, but okay. it should be interesting for this. Uh, I'm I'm gonna start speaking to this thing for approximately about a minute, and okay. it can go ahead and make. What do you What do you say? Uh, DC 15 wisdom save for sure. you. And what do you? To him, it seems like it's just a regular conversation, but in the middle of it, I'm just slightly whispering, "You hate hey, Xenos is really scary." <laughs> oh, Xenos is really scary. Xenos okay. is really scary. <laughs> All right. Does he um, make his wisdom save? No, he does not make his wisdom save. He's so. frightened of Xenos for oh. the next hour. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> his friend Xenos? That's uh, yeah. words of terror. <laughs> oh, wow. So well, all that runs one. away from Xenos. He says, Xenos, go to see Ruined Dice. <laughs> He tells me to go see Rune Dice, yeah. so I get to make another Weird, right? I, I, think I don't know what the that guy's problem is. It's not, it's not, for you. It, it it's is, not like walking into a fire. It is going to be it's walking exactly. into a giant ray of disintegration. <laughs> that is exactly what it's going to do. We don't make yourself. know that. Oh, we know that. Zeno's, that is Zeno's a 21. That. Okay. He is terrified. So you come out of it. All right. That guy charmed me. That guy charmed me. He's going to go back to the ship. I, yes, yeah, I right. am. Okay. So with my 25 stealth check, I'm sneaking back to the ship. Okay. Um, we need to make sure there's no bullywogs in the water under the ship. Mm -hmm. There's a good chance of that. They're amphibious. So yeah. there's a good chance. Oh, there's amphibious bullywogs in the well, ship? That's who disabled our rudder. I'm yeah, going to give you this. <laughs> What's this? Uh, it's a horn. Blow it when you get to the ship. She doesn't okay. know what it does. And it, does it require attunement? It doesn't require attunement. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it's the horn of the merfolk. Yeah. Uh, so you can summon sharks. You can oh, okay. <laughs> or, or before you do that, you yeah. could also choose to say create a fear effect of wisdom save DC 16 in a 500 foot radius across aquatic uh, creatures. Yeah. Oh, well, gee, we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it, has that fear effect last? It is, it is also very loud. It is also very loud, and so maybe don't do it immediately. So, no, 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 I'll do it. Do horn before we leave. Yes. That is the... Uh, you know what you can actually say? Everybody on the boat. <laughs> All right, uh, everyone get back to the ship in an hour. It can be heard within three miles, though. In, and an hour miles. this time. Z Z I have to All tell right. you this. This is important. When you blow it, a dude's going to come up to you and be like, Oh my god, that's the hour of the birthday. <laughs> do not give it to him. <laughs> you don't pay us anything. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're swindlers. <laughs> <laughs> you steal one culture sacred artifact, and all of a sudden you're the bad guy. Merfolk are known swindlers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> According to I'm the trustworthy. trustworthy. Let, me, let me roll my history check on yeah. this. Trustworthy. I Sounds about right. Four. <laughs> No, I have no evidence to the contrary. I'm afraid right. a lot of our learned history comes from <laughs> yeah, what he tells us. Yeah. I know things. Sir, learned history. Yeah. Yeah. He drinks he and he knows things. 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 That's what I do. So, okay. So One hour at the ship. You've scared off Yarp. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Xenos, as far as you know, has gotten back to the ship safely. Because mm -hmm. he vanishes from you as soon as he gets the horn. <laughs> yep. So yep, I'm gone. Party. <laughs> so we go to Rune Nines. Yep. Okay. And he says, hello. Hi. Hey, where's, your, where's your short friend? He's getting our ship ready. Oh, why would you tell him where he is? <laughs> he knows where he is. Well, I was, I was, I was really hoping we were going to open that a different way. <laughs> yeah, you could have said I died. Well, that's what, that was my yeah, plan. <laughs> that I was eaten by the dinosaur. <laughs> that you, here's the head. That would have been he, much better. He doesn't eat What's anything. Cirque's charisma? Uh, 13. Oh, What's his wisdom? Uh, 14. Oh. You, you're wise oh. enough to know that he should do the talking. Well, he asked, he's talking to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he addressed the, yeah. the group. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So we've got this we head that you're him. gonna. Great. Yeah, you're gonna pay us. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the money? He motions to one of the bullywigs, and the bullywig leaves, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll get you money." Okay. I tell him that the the, the elves from the ancient forest attacked uh -huh. the camera that was following me around That's and true. destroyed it, and that I'm terribly sorry that that happened. Me too. Do you want another one? Sure. All right. I mean, we're planning on leaving the island, but I mean, will it just follow us on our adventures? And yeah. You can stream it. To... I would. I would love it. That sounds awesome. Yeah. That'd be so much fun. It works on MiFi, Magic Fi. Nice. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> 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 Just for shits and giggles. Uh, while our... we're while we're talking, uh, yeah. and Lord Nurdag is gone. Just in between, maybe some magically infused words of okay. You know, Vasak is pretty scary. <laughs> oh, are you gonna try to fear it? <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, wisdom save DC uh, fifteen. Before you do that. Uh, let me also read this other part to you, which is why I read it before I did this. Okay. If the target succeeds on a saving throw, the target has no hint that you tried to frighten it. Okay. okay. That's the part. That That's the important part right <laughs> <Yes>. there. <laughs> so, and it's for an hour. Before you do that, why don't you make an arcana check? Sure. To see what you remember about uh, beholders. No, no. You might want to reroll that one, I mean, now, Mr. Lucky. I do have these rerolls, I suppose. He's a god of luck. Yeah, that one, I would have re-rolled that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Natural yes. 20 instead. Let's do that one. So that's uh, so, 23. While beholders are not immune to fear, there are um, legendary adversaries. Yeah. And um, that would give them the ability to, if they fail a saving throw, mm -hmm. just choose to succeed instead. Okay. All right. So. Um, He's like, oh, he's scared. Uh, not that's not yeah. scary. Yeah, no. This guy looks a little no. He it could be scary to somebody, but not it me. was a I it was a boundary that needed size. to be tested. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Just take this guy for something. No, the, the the fact that he can make any save he wants to is an important thing. Yeah, to know. yeah, yeah. It's not. It, it's within its limits. It's a knowledge gain. Yeah. Um. So he says. Uh, to get off this did you kill the when when the elves? Did you, did you kill them? There were too many of them. So we, unfortunately, were unable to complete that portion of the task. That's too bad. We tried. That's where we lost the camlin. They got yeah. taken out by the elves. Nope. No. Um, well, we'll take care of them eventually. That's yeah. fine. I mean, I'm well, sure you got no problem with that. Um, he says, okay, here's your money. And uh, Bullywood comes out with money. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. See you yeah. later. And he says, I would like to talk with your tiefling friend for a second. He's right here. Yeah. What do you want to know? It's more of a private conversation, a future business deal. Can I make a sense motive check real quick? It's insight, but yes. Sure. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, sense motive, right? Isn't no, that a real? Insight. No, insight. Insight. Wow, that's crazy. I could have sworn it was Too insight. many additions. Too in many. Your head. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 insight, that's going to be a 17. A 17. You believe that he has a business proposition for you. Okay, I'm going to listen to it. Okay, so do you, he pulls you away without earshot, but you are uh, within line of sight line of, sight. of your guys, okay. so that, that it's not dangerous. Yeah. He says, you seem like. I'm going to listen hard. Can I make a perception check? You to can hear make the a conversation? perception check. Shoot, that's only an 11. Um, you get muffled. Conversation and uh, one piece of information that you do hear is water deep, but you don't hear anything further. Okay. No. Fourteen. All right. Um. So he pulls you aside and he mm -hmm. says, "You you appear to be uh, an individual who can acquire things." I mean, I'm I'm pretty good at it. I I look upon you and I see several um, interesting items that appear to have been acquired. That's true. <laughs> I am looking for a book. What kind of book? It is a book um, in Waterdeep. Okay. Um, and it is a book. Oh, he said Waterdeep. <laughs> <laughs> it is a book um, oh, of my. I would like to use the word people because there's no real good word for it. You would think people, but I am above you, so. He said, um, he said I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, He's in love with it, it is um, a book of forgotten lore hmm. um, that a 
creature by the name of Xanathar has. Sort of some sort of guide. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, he's a knower of things. To most things. He said something about a teacher and a panther? <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you could bring that back to me. You are really confusing, Zerk. I would no, appreciate wait, it. I think he must have said, I'm yeah. going to bleach your what, panther's uh, hide. What would the book be worth to you? Um, I would mm. value it greatly at 10,000 gold pieces. Ooh. That's pretty good. I hear it. Gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll keep it. If you're ever in Waterdeep. Yeah. He said Waterdeep. Okay. <laughs> That's twice. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll I guess keep we're an eye on open for it. Okay. Never uh, pleasure. Open for it. A pleasure. <laughs> five eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he says to the Bullywugs, um, they have fulfilled their bargains. Let them go. Free. To roam the seas again. Like I was gonna let that stop me. I got a horn of mirth over that. <laughs> <laughs> so I take the gold back to the ship. Okay. Do I have any issues getting to the ship? No. All right. So Do you have any issue with my new floating friend? <laughs> it's so cool. We're gonna stream our adventures everywhere. Oh, take care of that thing. It gets stabbed as soon as we get on the ship. <laughs> oh yeah. Like just yeah, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> then like ten rounds later, another one shows up. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no, a no. problem with you. <laughs> yeah, no. He lost his signal on that first one. <laughs> <laughs> and every once in a while, they just keep showing up. <laughs> Sir keeps turning them into frisbees. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> that's fine. You guys don't have to have a camera all following you around. That's that's okay. Um, so well, no matter where what city we go to, people are gonna be like, "What the hell is yeah. that?" Oh, that's just a ball of fire. Whoosh! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, there are several questions that need to be answered. Um, one: Are you going to keep uh, Foxfire with you as a member of the crew? I mean, or so are you gonna take I've offered him a bunk. He offered me. Yeah. Yeah. He takes the job, I guess. Okay. And considering we didn't, I didn't get any. Uh, Blowback from the old floating head. I'm uh, pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about getting off of this island after a few months here. So, well, we we did have a couple uh, folks that were unfortunately eaten by sharks or killed by uh, whatever. So you know, harpies. Harpies. Yeah. We, so we got an opening. Yeah. Yeah. Damn harpies. Um. So when you guys left, um, Paldir, you were heading towards this island and, um. Really? There were two others, and we were following... There were two islands, not two others. Two islands I, total. I thought there were three. Lith. Um, there's Emmerich's Hold, which is the pirate captain's... The pirate lord's. Pirate lord's. No, that place... No, I had Rube, the, the island with the beam of light, which we just went to. Yes. Yep. Then I had one about an island with some large lizards, which is Lith. And then there was the volcanic... Volcano Island with the Red Dragon. Those were the three. Yeah, we're not going to the Volcano Island. And, yeah. and I'm thinking after our experience following the Hobgoblin Pirates to the first island, mm -hmm. maybe following the Hobgoblin Pirates anywhere is a bad idea. But we want to know what their plans are. we got to find the Black well, Dragon. Why is, do we care about their close. plans? So I know, but why? So let's, let's lay out Treasure. the areas that you know about. Uh -huh. We could go back to our home island. You can go back to your home island, which... Yep. The pirates who came with you, the crew, want to go back there. Want to go back there because they were told that they were going to be gone for two weeks, and it's now been like uh, two months, like like a month at least. Okay. Um, there is uh, Larath, which you're at, mm -hmm. Lith, which yep. is savage humanoids and um, large, large lizards, large reptiles. Mm -hmm. um, you do, you guys do know about the volcanic island, mm -hmm. and there's a shipyard. Shipyard is in Emmerich's Hold, which okay. is the pirate captain, okay. the the capital of the island. Because we need to, to yeah. do some you upgrades. You really want to go back there, don't you? You need I to mean, make I would some like to visit. And then, and then we want. Let's see. If we go to Symbia, we can help those wildlings. Yes. Um, although, we left the island, so there's really no need to ever go back to this place. <laughs> we can help mean? you. We absolutely will help you. All right. Forgotten forever. <laughs> might, they would help us if we point. run them and do this other thing. That, but. that quest turned gray in your we, quest chain. We will, so you, um, so, eh, we we will rescue all of the people that are still alive on this island that are forced to do the races. I think we yeah. need to first make sure that everybody knows not to go to this terrible place. Sure. And in doing so, more people will go to this terrible place. <laughs> that is how pirates work. That is true. Well, if you tell the tale the way... You should. It is an island of riches. 
that few can get to and few can leave from. Well, then everyone's going to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. I almost went to I know what the island is. Technology way more advanced <sighs> than anything else on this world. So, uh, so the, the, certain death, I am. The crew that's with you is fine with going either home or to Emmerich's hold. Home. I mean, he's just afraid that if we go home, he won't be a pirate captain anymore. No, I'm not afraid of that. Let's go to Emmerich's hold. We can go to Emmerich's hold. Yeah. Why not? Okay. So that we can this? do some upgrades in the ship. Let the yeah. crew spend some money. Fix some yep. money. Yep. Give them yep. just a little yep. taste of the treasures that we've picked up. Mm -hmm. but you know what? It, it feels like forever since I've been to Emmerich's hold. I really got to check in. All right. I don't know that you've been there recently, right? Yeah. No, I know. He we had no idea. <laughs> yeah. We don't know how he, where he came from when he got on the yeah. island. Did you tell them at all? What no one asks. We know that you have a new sort of This group is not big on team. asking questions yeah. about things. <laughs> Just letting people yeah. join up randomly. Oh, you from the forest. You yeah. want to join us? Yeah. You know, that has worked out well for you guys in the past. <laughs> to be including fair. myself. Yeah. <laughs> where it's like, oh, you want to join us? Absolutely, betrayer. Yeah. You can join us and we'll get killed. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it seems fine. It yeah. seems. We're a trusting group. Seems like a yeah. great idea. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Emmerich's so, told. Emmerich's told. You set sail. Set sail. Hey, um, random out of the blue question, guys, that comes from nowhere. Have you guys ever thought about going to Waterdeep? I no. knew he was going to ask about Waterdeep. <laughs> I told you guys. We don't care that you do have a Black Panther or that he's going to bleach its hide. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like I missed something. It would something. be a White Panther, wouldn't it? Um, it would be after he bleached it. Yeah. Um, what's it, Waterdeep? Oh, it just seems like a cool city. Really? Well, you know what, what do I know what, about Waterdeep? What did the Beholder ask you to do? Just asked me that maybe if we find our, you know, something, he would pay some money. Okay. He would pay. Okay. Listen. We're not going back to that island. I'm willing. I'm what? willing to. I'm willing we to. We gotta help the, those elves. We're gonna when we go back to help those elves. And right? destroy the robot. We're offered, not. If we look, if we're gonna go back, he offered and me take all that treasure. Hey, if, if he has the money there, yeah. And we go back to kill him and yeah. take him out. We're not we don't giving need to him. Give him a book. We're first, not. We're not but, giving him anything, making him more powerful. But, before we fight him. If we show up with the book, we have an excuse to come back. Or we could lie about having the book and have an excuse to come back. He promised me five thousand gold that I would split with you. Guys. Yeah, he, he promised deception. me a magical yeah. item. <laughs> that is going to be a deception. Uh, that is. Feel free to use side. one of your twenty advantage. That no. you That's <laughs> fair. Uh, I don't know if I need to because before that it's a twenty. For deception. Yeah, I don't think I could. Um, I nope. have to roll on the inside. Inside? Oh, wait. No, no I need a 21. Okay. <laughs> 5,000 gold. gold, guys. That I would split with All the you have to That means he has 5,000 gold. So we just go there with any book. We. I think I'm he would pretty probably sure he's got more, more than 5,000 gold. Yeah. He's got a lot more than well, 5,000 gold. He, so what when we, we kill do, him, we're going to get <clears> all the gold what anyway. What we yeah. do is find a way to kill this beholder and then come back and wipe him out. Yeah. Like yes. That's what I think we should do. Mm -hmm. If look, if we happen to, in the course of our travels, find a way to defeat the beholder, yeah. then sure, go back, steal his stuff, Let's kill him. Let's bring a ship full of but, cannons next time. But until we happen to stumble oh, across yeah. something really that will allow us to do that, I'm not going back. Yeah. <clears throat> Craig was we, talking to me about these these explosive guns that we could put <laughs> onto the ship that he. Said then let's then let's get some yeah. explosive guns. By the way, they're at Emmerich's Hold. Said he I know was at Emmerich's Hold. You know a guy? Well, that's yeah. why we're going to Emmerich's Hold. We'll get yeah. some. Wait, uh... you've been to Emmerich's Hold because I was talking to Craig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me and Craig were there once. <laughs> so <laughs> Craig's like, we were there like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Kuzako has no reason to lie, but like if he's gonna lie, he's gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so. Uh, somebody needs to make a survival check to plot the course to Emmerich's hold. 21. Okay. So you're going to get there in five days. All right. Um, Xenos, how are you... Um, so, Mr. Remington has had a chance to talk with the, uh, with the crew. Oh, yeah, he's had like two weeks with the crew. Oh. For two weeks. Yep. Speaking of which, we do need to have but a Rin moment is there, right? there, too. Yeah, we've had... Uh, because this is Vizago's first time on the Tempest Chemtress. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, so he's going to step on and be like, so this is your guys' ship? The my yep. ship, yeah. yeah. I've seen worse. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> who's the uh, who's the 
first mate here? Mr. Remington. Yeah. The guy, the, yeah, that guy. That guy. That asshole? Guy, yeah, yeah, that asshole. <laughs> the half I'm, look, in the red jacket. I, I, I'm looking for uh, <laughs> replacements, if you're interested in a job. Yeah. Uh, so are they, is he down there with the crew? Yeah. And I'll be like, <sighs> Hello, everyone. And Visago's going to fully Visago it up. And okay. he's going to start walking down. He's like, you have all just met the first real pirate any of you have ever met. <laughs> <laughs> the, the crew takes a little bit of an exception and to that because they I'm actually going to use a feature to do this a bit more. Okay. And then he's going to slide down the, the stairway down. Okay. And, and then he's going to be like, he goes up to one of the pirates. He's like, and I'm actually going to use, there's a pirate trait called bad uh, reputation. Okay. For the tap, and that's yeah. what his tattoo represents. Mm -hmm. He's like, do you know what that is? They do. Yeah. I'm the guy who got that ship. <laughs> <laughs> and this he looks at you with a little bit of respect. Yeah. And this guy? He doesn't know anything about being a pirate captain. Are you pointing to Mr. Remington or Remington? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Remington. <laughs> okay. Good. Just clarifying that. Remington takes a little bit of exception to that because he says, "Come on, we've been." Pirate adventures together. You're, Remember the time with the Kraken in the cove? Yeah. Who got us free? That was me. You're right. And while we're having this conversation, in between, I'm going to go, yeah, you're right. And you know what? Xenos is really scary. <laughs> so you want to go ahead and make a wisdom DC saving throw? <laughs> now I have to look at the stat. <laughs> it's low. Let me roll. Natural 20. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm he not... doesn't know I tried to fear him, but no. yeah, he doesn't get feared by Yeah, he does not get yeah. feared of Xenos. Um, but uh, what I do, essentially what this is, is I want to go ahead and make a, uh, a uh, persuasion check on the crew to sure. see if I can get them on my yeah. side. Yeah, that's what I was kind of expecting to yeah. happen. 16, plus 7, that's going to be 21. 21. So um, you get the sense. Why don't you make an insight check? Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and spend a luck because why the fuck not? <laughs> yeah, one better. Uh, insight, right? Mm -hmm. uh, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you get the sense that um, the crew is not hostile towards mm -hmm. you guys, um, and if you would, I'm assuming so, as you guys have talked on your yeah. way to Thunderjaw and back, you guys would have discussed like the, the interpersonal politics of the ship. And yeah. then, uh, Remington does not like Xenos, and Xenos yeah. does not like Remington. Yeah. I think it and actually there, came up while we were in the jungle, which yeah. is why he brought it up. And there is a, a somewhat of a uh, battle for command of the ship. Yeah. Um, and Remington, while he's tried to win some of the favor back while while they're waiting yeah. um he hasn't been entirely successful one because they can't leave yeah um well, two because and, he just pulled five thousand gold coins onto the ship right deck. Well, that's, that was the other part <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, you brought money onto yeah. the ship they can't leave and uh corbin and ren have been here for no. the entirety of your jungle trip yeah. um so he might have won a little bit, but you, you think that you might have undone that a little bit. Yeah. So, um, so journeying to Emmerich's Hold is going to take you um, five days. Um, and you guys, do you, are you looking for trouble along the way, or are you avoiding trouble? Your ship is not in the best of repair. If, if Yeah, it's it's half. We need to get, we need to get the ship fixed. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, if we see like, a if we see really something, it's yeah. merchant ship. Yeah, but otherwise, mm -hmm. yeah. You do. You happen to see a, a merchant ship. Yeah. Yeah. What does it look like? Like what's the, a, what's the name of the ship? Number scale. Uh, the name of the ship, uh, is the Ivory Hold. Okay. That sounds like it's expensive. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's probably uh, not. You put a name like that on one that's not yeah, worth well, anything. Yeah, not worth anything, right? And then, you know, the SS uh, pile of crap, you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's where the money is. Yeah. Uh, so how big of a ship is it? Uh, it is a sailing ship. It's how many similar, masts? Similar to yours. Um, it's got two masts. Yours has three masts, I believe. Okay, so we're a bigger ship? Yep. We're faster. We're bigger, we're faster. Uh -huh. We got pirates. Mm -hmm. We got pirates. We can be very scary. We can be extraordinarily scary. 
You got a new rogue. I, I think we do. Right. I, I say we go after it. How, now, how are you, when you're looking at the ship, you're using your spyglass? Of course I'm using my spyglass. That's why I so have a spyglass. So, as you put up your spyglass up to your eye, uh -huh. make a wisdom saving throw. That's a 18. Okay. So, for a split second, um, you're, you, it goes from regular C to entirely green. Like, top to bottom, the sky disappears. And... Uh, the ship also disappears for a second. Um, and if you want to make an arcana check, you can figure out what you're looking at for the split second that you are before it returns. Well, to that would be a 24. Line. 24. You are looking into the astral sea. Oh. So my, my spyglass now looks into the astral sea, does it? You don't know. Okay. That's interesting. Um, Going to have to explore that later. But... In the meantime, in the real world, mm -hmm. what do, in the real world, right? It happens. <laughs> yeah, it's, it happens. So, in the real world, looking at that on the material that, plane, on mm -hmm. the material plane, looking at the uh, the merchant ship, the yeah. ivory hold. Uh huh. Um, what can I see about the ship? Um, it it appears as though most ships traveling through the inner sea have some defenses. Yeah. Um, and we do not have two ships. We actually do not have one ship because our ship is currently oh, yeah. on its journey to LA. So um, I'm not going to do a full on ship to ship battle for this. But what I will do is if you guys want to do a skill challenge before we um, end the session for today, we can do that. Yeah. And you can try to take this ship down. It's going to be very similar to the last one, although I will do, I, I'm just going to have everybody make one check, and it's okay. going to be five successes before three okay. failures. Let's do it. So, um, as you uh, raise your pirate banner mm -hmm. and start heading towards them, mm -hmm. uh, Mike, what does Cirque do to make this, um, what do you do to turn the tide of battle and make this ship surrender? Uh, position our ship so that it, we have all the cannons facing. Or we don't even right. have cannons. Yeah, but it's yeah, uh, uh, ballistas. The ballistas. ballistas yeah. So I get the ballistas in perfect firing arc so that we're okay. the, they're downwind and we're upwind. Okay. And how are you going to do that? Is it going to be a survival check? Uh, I think survival is to navigate or to steer the ship, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Natural 24. Okay. Nice. So, I mean, it's, Good start. Yeah, it's <laughs> Solid start. perfectly mm -hmm. lined up. When you uh, order a broadside, the um, all of the ballistas hit, which is rare. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it, it it's very impressive. Good job, Poe. Um, <laughs> uh, Eric, what is uh, Foxfire doing? Hmm. Now, this can be at any point during this conflict. So... <clears throat> At some point, you're going to have to board the ship. So, so well then, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking about. Was climb, basically climbing up into the rigging uh -huh. uh, of our ship and getting ready to uh, acrobatics your way across. Yeah, okay. try to assassinate yep. their captain. Yep. Right. Yeah. And that will be uh, 19 acrobatics. Okay. So you, um, <clears throat> it is like you were a trained uh, acrobat. You just walk across the ropes, swing across. You get into a, a point um, where you're landing on the the fort castle, aft castle, uh, which is where they uh, the ship's wheel is, and um, you drop down just right adjacent to the person sailing the ship, and are able to disable uh, the ship's wheel, cool. um, either by killing the guy, flip out a dagger and cut the uh, cut and, the cord. Yeah, yeah, exactly, or doing that. Um, awesome. Aaron, what is Vizago doing? Uh, Vizago is going to take him and the uh, meanest looking crew members he can find. Okay. And he, they're going to be the first wave of the boarding party on. number just, seven and eight. Yeah. Grim, <laughs> Grim Bernadette. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. She probably. likes to fight. Yeah. yeah uh, and uh, I'm going to just start spouting pirate jargon. As long as they're wearing. I want your money, not your lives. Okay. Just lay down. And okay. it's going to be an intimidation. Intimidation. Check. All right. Let's see it. <laughs> Lucky over there. Yeah. Uh, so that would be a 20. A 20. Okay. So you intimidate the crew. 
Um, there is minimal <laughs> casualties I as roll you my are. Own luck. <laughs> uh, basically, once you board, there is some fighting, but you you um, it's way reduced from yeah. what uh, what it should have been. Xenos. Um, well, Xenos is going to make a mark. Um, I'm going to put a flaming sphere on the deck, and it's going to bounce around between the two masts to burn at least one of them oh, down. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay. Let's go slow down. Let's go slow down the ship. You, you don't have any that. I, well, you got a D6 to your roll, obviously. <laughs> oh, obviously. All right. So that would be a 15 Arcana. 15 Arcana. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. It does not burn the mast to the ground, it. but it does burn enough ropes to that the mast is, or the sails are not full anymore. So they are not able to escape regardless of... No, they should be worried about putting out the fire on their ship. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is some concern about that. Um, why don't you make a perception check as well? Perception uh, is... Perception, <laughs> perception, perception. Wisdom. Wisdom, Wisdom. eight. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, sorry, Sherelle. So I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy and shout across from our ship to theirs mm -hmm. uh, that they have displeased Umberly with their greed and that we are simply her uh, chosen and we will be taking what they have in their holds cool. to further her needs so that they need to repent. Okay, and, and what kind of check is... What, what uh, kind well, of this could either be a persuasion or a religion or... Uh, either one. Okay. So I'll go ahead and use persuasion just because it's slightly higher. And I want one. But you have a D6. But I have a D6. So okay. that's a whopping nine. Okay. So you got two fails, but you didn't. We completed the skill challenge okay. without uh, without three failures. So it's not a complete failure. Yeah. Um, and what Xenos didn't see is that Mr. Remington and a group of uh, his loyal pirates uh, have made their way to the aft castle and are surrounding him. And that's where we'll end for tonight. So they're next to me. Yeah. So you... we're surrounded. Won't that oh, be fun? That will be <sighs> great. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to switch to grappler. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of the other. That's class. fine. All right.